Oh no, late late streamer. Late late streamer. Late streamer. I'm still in a dream, late streamer. How's it going? Didn't even change the title. Oh, yeah, you're right. Shit. Shit. I didn't change the title. There you go. I fixed. I fixed to something completely non-controversial. All right, there we go. Late streamer. The first time I ever heard Snake Eater, I thought it was the stupidest bullshit. I hated it, and um, I I I just this is so dumb, and oh, I still think it's dumb, but. Like, holy shit, do I like that song. <laughs> Hopefully it survived. Lily, Lily survived. Yeah, Lily's okay. Uh, we probably could have finished yesterday. She was feeling a little better by the time I went upstairs, but um, it was still good that we stopped just in case. Sorry, I'm, e I'm, heat I'm eating two pieces of, of Halloween candy. I didn't have breakfast, which is really unhealthy, but two small pieces of Halloween candy better than nothing. It's supposed to be like Bond music. Yeah, I know, but at the time, I just didn't like it. I, I, I knew what it was back then because I'd seen a lot of Bond movies, but I don't know. Maybe I was... Even though I'd seen a lot of Bond movies, maybe I was just too young to appreciate it. Why is the game ruined? Uh, we'll 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 talk about it. Let's get a, let's get rid of pickle Nagato, and let's get our tweets out and our discord out and then we will we'll uh, we'll sit down and we'll rap about it at the image of Pickle uh, Nagito? Why? Nagito. Is it, is it Nagito or is it Nagito? Wait, wait, what is it? I can't remember. Uh, do I have the score? Yeah, I do. Okay. Both? It's both. Is this going to be Joe and Chat arguing each, each other episode? No, I don't think so. We haven't had that happen in a long time. Even with um even with Silent Hill 2, that we, we, we didn't have a fight, we just had a discussion. It looked like it was gonna turn into a fight, but then um but then it turned into a discussion. Yeah. I thought I thought our ending stream of Silent Hill 2 uh, was a good discussion, and I felt like um, people in chat understood my point more by the end, and I understood their point more by the end. If you if you just watch some some you know bullshit compilation of clips that doesn't show that part of the conversation, then you're gonna think it was awful, but it wasn't. Like it, it was, I consider that one of our better conversations. <laughs> If you're wondering what Halloween candy it is, they're little bite-sized caramelks. I don't know if they have them in America. I think they do, right? Caramelks? 
they probably don't have them in, in Britain. In fact, I'm almost certain of it. But maybe they do. So it's like basically like two squares of caramel bar. Caramilks, yep. Thoughts on candy corn? I don't think I've ever had candy corn. Could a mystery in Danganronpa where you actually killed someone work? Like, let's imagine that you killed someone during T5. Would you get as mad as them? Well, uh, as mad as then as well? No. Um, the problem with the last trial is not that we killed someone. The problem is that we don't know that we killed somebody. I would have accepted an accidental death too. She did, she doesn't know that she killed somebody, but that the game lied is where I don't like it. I would have actually really liked it if we were in on it and maybe during the trial we have to decide whether we were going to push, you know, um, push blame on somebody else and really, you know, lie our asses off to, 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 to win the trial or if we feel guilty and decide that we're going to, you know, reveal what we did and, and go down for it after all. It's called a twist. Twists aren't necessarily good. Just because you're just saying it's a twist doesn't excuse anything that happened. It can be solved though. Joe literally did. Yeah, I solved it almost immediately, but that's not because it was fair. That was because I'm used to bullshit being in the series. And just to be clear, if this was done in, in, in a different setting or anything, it might work. <clears throat> the problem is, um, you can't have an unreliable narrator, I don't even think this is an unreliable narrator, I, don't, I, I think that's stretching the definition, to be honest, but let's, let's just go with it for now. Um, I don't think you can have an unreliable narrator in a murder mystery when the unreliable narrator is the murderer. You can have an unreliable narrator in a murder mystery. Um, I, 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 it, you could argue that that every you know narrator in, in in a murder mystery is in some way unreliable. If if, if you accept the, that yesterday's stream was an unreliable unreliable narrator, um, but I don't think that you that you should have an unreliable narrator in a murder mystery when they are the killer as well. Um, I don't think that's fair. Now, does that mean every single murder mystery, you know, is gonna has to follow those rules? Well, it depends on what kind of murder mystery it is. If the murder mystery is set up in in a book or a movie or or, or a game, that you are supposed to be able to um, solve it ahead of time, then then yes, I think that you can't have an unreliable narrator and they're the murderer. If it's not like that, if it's just a mystery that is just like, hey, you're still supposed to be along for the ride, you're not really supposed to think about anything that's going on, then great, then great. However, you can't argue that Danganronpa is like that because during the trials, you literally have to prove that you have been figuring it out. You have to be paying attention to details because the game tests you on it. You have to be able to answer questions. You have to be able to think things through. It doesn't tell you the answers. Usually, you have to be paying attention. You have to be speculating. If you're not doing that, you're not going to get through the trial without making a ton of mistakes and it's becoming trial and error. So it has to be that way. So it, it just doesn't work. The game lies to you. I don't think Katie lies to you. I think Katie lies to to other people, but I'm not sure. Um, I'd have to go back and watch the whole thing or play the whole thing again. So um, for the sake of argument and for the sake of just, you know, let, let's have some compromise between me and the people who love this. Um, I'm going to assume that Katie does not lie to, to the player. However, the game lies. So when we discussed on Discord quite quite a bit yesterday, when she's leaving the room and she says, I put down everything I was holding, what she actually means, what the game actually means, because the game is pretty much describing what what's going on, you know? What the game actually meant was 
I put down my backpack, took out a shot put ball, picked it up, and then rolled it along the floor into the vent, and then left. And I'm pretty sure she has the backpack, so she also picked the backpack up after that. That's a lie. You can say it's a lie by omission or whatever you want to do. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It, like, it, that is the game intentionally de deceiving you. And I don't think that's the only one um, in, in the investigation and the lead up to the trial. I'm pretty sure there are at least three. I think that picking up the shop of Paul, Paul, that's hard to say, uh, at all from, from the warehouse, I think that is, is also misleading. I think when she stacked the books, that was also misleading, and I'm pretty sure there's at least one other one, but I, I can't remember. I'd have to, go th I have to go through it all. So, wasn't she holding a broom before she dropped the ball? I think the misdirection is referring to it. I think, I think she, she dropped the ball before that. I don't know. Anyway, so the, one, one, one of the arguments that's kind of linked to what you just said is that, um, we don't have to hear every single thing that a character does. And of course it is, you know, a, a lot of people have straw manned it, the argument as saying that, well, we don't hear that Katie's heart is beating. Oh, Kate's heart, Kate, Katie's heart beat and then it beat again and then it beat again. Well, how are we supposed to know if her heart's beating or not? Like that's, that's a really bad straw man argument because, or it's a really good straw man argument because it's a really good example of a straw man. Um, because we don't need to know the unimportant things. We just need to be told the important things. We don't need to know that every single morning before Katie leaves her apartment that she goes to the bathroom. Well, I mean, some of you might want to know that, but we don't need to know that. We don't, oh, I opened my eyes. I got out of bed. I made my bed. I walked across the room. You don't need to know all that. But when a story omits um, important information, then it's lying to you or it's deceiving you. And you should know or you should be told when something important happens in a scene that that when you are tied to the character's perspective. Um, it can be done well in some books and, and, and movies, you know, you've probably all seen something where you're tied to a character's perspective and then the character sees something that the movie doesn't want you to see. Um, right now it's the opposite of dramatic irony. Dramatic irony is when you know something that the character doesn't. So. Um, the character sees something and it zooms in on their face and their eyes go really wide and they're like, oh. but the, 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 the story or the narrative is making it clear at that moment that you are not privy to some information that the character now knows, whereas this game does not make that clear whatsoever. It, it, it lies to you. It doesn't do those moments. So, yeah. Um, you can disagree with me all you want, I don't think you can disagree with me that I put everything in my hands down, but I actually, what I actually meant was I put my backpack down, took out the shot, but Paul rolled it into a vent, picked up my backpack and then left. Um, if you don't think that's a lie, then I, I mean, or at least if you don't, if you don't agree that that's deception, like, <clears throat> then I don't know how you talk to people and how you can communicate with people i i don't i don't know how like how you can i don't know like you can disagree if it was good or or well done or or well good about the same thing um you know you don't think that it's ruined you do you agree with me you think it's ruined whatever but like that that is deception like you can't you can't argue it's inarguable it's yeah but whatever anyway um I can make the point without being rude. Well, I, I had a lot of discussions with people on in, in Discord yesterday, and some people were arguing with it, and eventually they, I think all of them came around eventually and were like, yeah, okay, you're right. Um, they didn't agree on, 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 on much else, and we had a good discussion about it, and uh, someone in particular brought up a good point that um, there are gonna be two different sides of people that are going to be uh, enjoying murder mysteries. And there are people that just want to be along for the ride and they don't really care about trying to figure out ahead of time. And then there's gonna be other people that really wanna care about figuring out ahead of time. So for those people who don't care, this doesn't really change much for them for the rest of the game. For the people that do care, the game's now ruined. It's, it's, complete, it's completely fucking obliterated and destroyed. I would argue that I don't think you can play Danganronpa without, for just being along for the ride, unless you wanna go through a bunch of trial and error in the trials. Um, I guess you could, and there's not real repercussions there, so I guess there's some nuance to that argument. Um, for the reasons why I just went into earlier, that we're, that you're supposed to be thinking along. But, um, 
Yeah, I don't, I don't see that that's a bad argument. That makes sense. Anyway, the reason why the game is destroyed is because <clears throat> you can't trust anything that the that the characters see, say, or do from this point onward. So there can be no there can be no facts, and because there can be no facts, um, there can be no mystery. I will try my best to, to still go along with it, but um, at at every moment. Uh, it's gonna be well. Can I trust what's going on here? Nope. So, oh well. Event gallery, movie gallery. This is a bit over dramatic. How is it? How is it over dramatic? The game has established that it is willing to lie to make a mystery. So, if it's willing to lie once, um, it can lie again. Am I interested in the back roots? Probably not. I don't really know what they are. So I actually, you know, I shouldn't say probably not. I don't know what they are. So I, I, I guess, uh, I guess not. Didn't the game already do this with Nagito? What do you mean? In what way? I don't think it did. Feel like the trial was objectively or subjectively bad, <clears throat> considering a lot of people loved it. Depending on what they enjoy in the mystery, I don't. I don't think that you can judge anything in a game as objectively good or bad. Uh, there's there's very very little that you can, that you can make a judgment on that. I think the mystery is good. I think I think the way that it was set up, you know, the the how okay someone's in in a room, no one else is in there. How'd the ball get in there? How'd they die? You know that that's good. If if it had a different result. Um, or if we were if we were sushi the whole time, and um, Katie did something else, like it, it, it was it was a little more um, th there were more layers to it. I, I think it would be pretty good. It wouldn't be the best trial, but it would still be pretty good. First time the game has deceived you and enjoy that, but that's subjective. <laughs> it's it's all subjective, dude. Like who cares? Like we we're, we're it's like that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. What's my favorite trial of the game so far? Um, two five, I think. It's two five, right? I still don't understand why Katie didn't leave when she got the chance and said went through the trial. Yeah, I don't understand that either. Yep, I don't get it either. She could have left and gotten help. Cause it's a game. By the way, the solution to fixing the 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 the, the, mur the murder mystery and the setup for it from Katie's perspective, because people were people get it in their heads that because the game did us did something a certain way that it, it's set in stone and you have to accept it or it has to work within those boundaries um it, it's not that the writers or the developers who, who however the process works with Angry Rampa, it's not that they set up that that murder mystery thought of okay build the ramp of the books get the ball you know lure with the flash of the cameras and then you know put that on katie 
and then you know and they're like oh that would that would be a neat twist and then it's like oh no how do we how do we make it so we have these events but we don't reveal it to the player oh i guess we're gonna have to be a little misleading because people in chat were saying well how is there supposed to be a mystery if it you know what do you want do you want the game to outright tell you what she's doing because then there wouldn't be a mystery it's like i, I don't want katie to be the murderer if we're in control of her like it's you're, you're stuck on on saving it how it is you know preserving the case how it is right now it, it, it's the problem is that it's broken from the start do, 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 do. Anyway, let me read some um, some messages and then we'll start. Sorry about that. I don't think the game lying is a negative at all, but it's a murder mystery. Why can't you agree that, or why can't you see how that lies are bad? The game doesn't lie, I, I mean, it does. It it, 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 it it deceives you, but okay, it, it was just ambiguous in its wording because that was the only goal to pull out the specific twist off of the player meeting. You know, have okay, you just, you're just arguing what I just what I just addressed. Okay, you probably were writing that as I was talking. Okay, um, uh, I dropped everything I was holding, being equal to I dr put my backpack down, pulled out a shot football, rolled it into an air vent, then picked up my backpack and left the room. That's not ambiguous. That's lying. Like that's that's not ambiguous. Shitty if you look at it from a purely mystery perspective, but the game isn't only about mystery. I agree with that. Yeah, there's more to the game than, than the mysteries, but the mysteries are the part that I enjoy the most. If you're approaching a romp expecting a logical mystery 100% of the time, you're gonna end up like Joe and wondering why they need a plot tool like smallpox in order to make the game function. Okay, but the the, the series has had good mysteries. So I don't, it uh, isn't 2-5 the, the, everyone's favorite because 2-5 is a good mystery and it makes almost complete logical sense within the game's rules, right? There, there are some in the first game too, right? I, th this, this is what I don't understand sometimes when, when people make these kind of arguments. Is, isn't it like... It's like when, when I get mad that a game doesn't address something that it should really address, and then later on when the game does address something that I want them to address it, and it's like, I'm like, oh wow, that's really good. And everyone in chat is like, holy shit, that's that's really great. I can't believe that they actually addressed it. And but the, and it's the same people that, that are like, who cares that they don't address it when, when we're talking about something else. Like, I feel like the people that are saying who cares about the mysteries are also the same people that when the game does do a good mystery are gonna say, wow, great mystery, you know? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, thank you, Mania Max, the Love Falcon, 15 minute Midas for gifting us up to Comfy Guy, uh, Princess She, Moose72. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. Uh, Egg Latte, uh, Zerkzik. Hey, Love Your Streams is wondering if the game switching perspective between Katie and Sushi would have solved most of the issues in the first case. Maybe, it could have, yeah, yeah. Uh, Plan 1997, Lancare 77, The Water Guy, uh, Crimson Blitz, 
and Rogue on Duty. I think Rogue on Duty subbed when, when right before the stream started. But th thank you to you to you guys for subbing while the stream was uh, was stream was down. Thank you very much. Hopefully you watch the vod and hear me say a quick thank you. Uh, thank you Rogue on Duty again for 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 subbing right at the start of the stream. Thank you Reese Nisi for the 13 month three stub. 13 months of late streamer, late streamer. Thank you Reese Nisi. Do, 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 do. Action cater is 50 bits. Um, Oh, we have some memes. Okay, uh, if anyone wants to show me some memes that were from yesterday, I'll put them on screen before we start. Yeah. When you can't show sushi your ultimate peanuts. What? What? Uh, Alan Mars? Just a cheer. Okay, uh, Mythalic or Meth Mythalic has subscribed. Welcome to Dragon's Den. Mythalic, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. That was about 20 minutes ago, right right after we started. Sorry, we were, we were, we were discussing things. Yeah, I, sorry if you don't like the discussions, anybody out there, but um, like th this is part of part of our, our our stream heritage is that we like to discuss things. And by we, I mean me. I think some a lot of people in chat like it too. And and considering that viewership keeps going up, I'm I'm guessing that most people don't mind it. Um, if we didn't do it, maybe viewership would go up even higher. But I don't know. I I, I like discussing things. So, yeah. Uh, Sly Gamer 64 uses 100 bits to say won't be able to watch it much today, so I'm gonna give my bits right now. Hope you start enjoying the game a bit more from now on. Ooh, hope, hope, Joe, you gotta have hope. Thanks, Sly Gamer. Hey, dude, I just want to say that this was my favorite clock, favorite case in the whole series, but I understand why someone would like it. I love the explanation of why Katie went with the trial instead of escaping. That sealed the frame, but still love you, baby. Really? That's that's your favorite part. I I don't even understand it. Like, I, like she, it, it doesn't make sense to me, but... Hmm. I, I thought for sure it was going to be some split personality thing, and that might have been able to to, uh, to to save it for me, maybe, but I'm not sure. Hmm. That's okay, I'm really glad that you liked it, though. It was presented well, I think. Zephyr Lily has used 100 bits to say, your opinion is completely valid, Joe. I was also upset by the first shot in the game. Uh, regardless, I hope the rest of the game is somewhat enjoyable. P.S. Please hang out with Himoko at least once she gets better. No, no. No. I don't think so. No. I'm a mage. No, I, I really, I really don't. I really don't think so. Really, does she get better? Are you sure? Katie is the kind of person who would would not abandon her friends. Yeah, but leaving and trying to get help would 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 be better than than that. That's that's the that's the best choice for everybody. If she left and admitted it, then there wouldn't be a tutorial to discourage her classmates immensely, since most of them believed in her. Again, you're you're this this is kind of, this is what I just spoke about. You're assuming that the way it works was set in stone. You know, you, you, we don't need the first blood perk. You, you could just take that away. Like, <clears throat> you you don't you don't need it, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I I don't agree with this. You know, you, you, if if. We need this to happen because then there won't be a story. You know, you change the story to make it make sense. Uh, thank you, Ralph Cogs, for the nine month resub. Thank you, thank you. Nine months, man. Nine months. That's that's an important period of time. Nine months. Thank you, Ralph Cogs. We link one thousand. Use some bits to say. Do you think it would be would have been better if we knew Katie's intentions the entire time and had had to play the, the trial from the perspective of the murderer? I think that could have been interesting. Yep, yep, that could have been fun. I would I would have been down for that. I think I would have. Uh, there, that could have been enjoyable. Um, there would have had to have been other changes, but yeah, I think that could have been that could have been good. About leaving so she can help, you are assuming Katie is smart. Well, Katie, w without any any um, pausing between any other events, designed a book ramp, calculated how long it would take to roll a shot put ball down a vent into into the ramp, down the ramp at the right time with a camera flash that was timed to um, a, a, a thing going off, a receiver going off that, um, that, that would let her know that the mastermind was in, now in the room. So I, I think that Katie is pretty smart. I don't know. 
Ralph Cloud's 600 bits. I did a fan art. Okay, I added it to my list. Uh, we're probably not gonna be starting the game for 10 minutes. So if you, if you want to go and get a drink, if you were like, oh shit, I, I need a drink, but we're gonna be starting soon, because um, because I know people get get really invested in the story and they don't want to to miss anything. But we're probably it's probably gonna be 10 more minutes of this looking at fan art and everything. If you want to go use the bathroom or anything. Uh, Chrono23 has subscribed. Welcome to the Rub a Dub Sub Club, Chrono23. Thank you so much. Uh, Bornu Born Bornuwal Bornuwal has I hope I'm saying that right. Has resubscribed for two months. Danganronpa One is the most boring game of series. Two is the best, except for the ending where everyone is alive. And three is the most infuriating. Change my mind. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. I I I I think I'm going to agree with you. I don't think I have to change your mind. I do like this cast though in three. The, the cast is growing on me. Intelligent isn't smart though, Brosif. I've known some really book smart idiot idiots, but if being able to plan out that whole elaborate thing it shows the same amount of ability in realizing that hey, I should leave and go get help, right? It's the same kind of part of your of your, of your mental capability that's being tested there, right? One of the most popular and well-regarded murder mysteries of all time. The, um, pull, the, pulls. Oh, thank you for spoiling that. Thanks. I'm not gonna read that, but thank you so much for spoiling spoiling that. Pulls off basically basically this exact twist in the exact same way. You can't just keep stating that a murder mystery can't deceive you like this, as if it's if, as if it's an established fact. Okay, so there are always going to be exceptions to every rule, but. I haven't read that book that again I'm not gonna say again thank you for spoiling it um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that it's bad without reading it you know but the fundamental idea of a murder mystery is that you are given details and facts and you put them together and you try and figure it out along with the narrative as it's ongoing if a murder mystery doesn't allow that then I do not think it is a good murder mystery and that there's something wrong with it. Again, there will be exceptions that can pull it off. Maybe that book is one of them, but as a rule that can be applied in almost all cases, it doesn't work. Now, it could be that you can have a, a story about a murder that is not a murder mystery and it could work there. That's fine. But in, in a murder mystery where you are supposed to be trying to solve it and think it through, if the story withholds and lies to you, then it's not fair and therefore it is not a good murder mystery. I, I don't think you can argue against that. The fact that you figured out that Katie did shows that there was enough evidence. The fact, I, I only worked it out because I expect the bullshit from the series. Basically, Agatha Christie doesn't know how to write murder mysteries, as confirmed by prestigious video game streamer Joseph Anderson. Th th does she do that in every single one of her stories? No, she doesn't. Like, w w what, are you, what are you talking about? Because because I'm saying that a book that I haven't read might be the exception to the rule, and I'm not going to judge it until I've read it. And that books are different than video games. You're in control of a character, of a, 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 in, in addition to be tied to their perspective. You're, you're just accusing me of saying that Agatha Christie is shit. She's obviously not shit. What, what are you trying to do here? Uh, Simath7 has subscribed for the first time. Thank you very much, Simath7. Thank you, thank you. Um, 
Bloody Larry says, also, I guess I disagree because I never trusted any character in this game to begin with. I suspected Makoto Hajime to be the mastermind the entire game, so I guess I just don't see why this is such a big deal breaker for you. But I get it at the same, t but I get it at the same time, and it's fine. Well, we have to be able to trust the, the thoughts of the character and, and what they're perceiving. And if you can't do that, then I then I can't really get invested in the character. I just go 67. Um, I think Katie didn't leave because she was afraid that they would die since the rules told her that if she leaves, everyone, everyone, everyone else died. No, the, the first blood perk specifically said that no one else would be punished. Thornshadow17 says, time to collect all the presents again? What? Oh, did she die and take all of our coin things with us? Oh no. We have to go back to the mono machine. Uh, Freekill101 has subscribed with Prime for the first time. Welcome to Prime Time, Freekill101. Thank you, thank you. Madbake, you seem to say, I think the main problem about the scenario is that the game's rules were, were, were broken for the sake of the story. Yep, yep. And and they can if you break a rule once, you can break it again. <clears throat> Especially considering they broke it multiple times in, in, in this trial. Yeah. Mr. Mobius, use 100% to say, be me, Sherlock Holmes. I'm on the case. The culprit must have killed the the victim with this bloody hammer they left near the body there were no entrances or exits to this room just a vent from above and a strange red hair left near the hammer was the murder of the agile red hair trapeze artist no it was me in a clown costume i just didn't tell you <laughs> what <laughs> Uh, Dominus LT has been subscribed for 10 months. Uh, you should stop streaming dang around for V3 and only talk about case 3-1 for the next few streams. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder how, how long it would be until people caught on. That's that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, that, that, that would be pretty pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dominus LT. Uh, the whole game's theme is, is lie and truth, not despair and hope. What do you think about it? Well, the, I, I don't know that. I, 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 that's probably going to come up later. Is that a spoiler? Is that the theme is, is lies and truth, not despair and hope? I mean, just because that's the case, I don't think that the game is allowed to lie to you during the murder mysteries. Maybe I'll change my mind as it goes on. Maybe it will justify it. But a, another spoiler that everyone has been shouting at me is that the game never does this again. So I, I, I guess not. I don't know. I, I saw a lot of people yelling that that the whole game's theme is is about lies, as as if I've somehow played the game before and forgotten it. Like I don't know. I don't think that excuses the game lying to you. Uh, I'm Dark Rai. Um, has subscribed to Prime for the first time. Welcome Prime Time. I'm Dark Rai. Thank you. Thank you. Grill Scout user best to say, do you think that the game essentially being on rails with there only being one conclusion uh, to each trial distracts from the experience? Do you think the game would be better if it was the same gameplay but took a similar route as Until Dawn? Um, yes and no. I don't want that necessarily because I think that would be a hell of a lot more work and I don't think it would be fair to expect that sort of thing. Um, would that be interesting? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I would play the shit out of that game, but do I want that for Danganronpa or for this game? I don't know about that. I, I think that both both ways have their merits. But yeah, I would be very interested in a game like that, for sure. <clears throat> Sly Gamer 64 use 100 bits. I'm ready for Himoko to become your waifu by the end of V3. Wow. Wow. I don't think that's happening. And also, where's the dragon brushing teeth emote? <laughs> how, what would that look like? Maybe we should get a brushing teeth emote. <clears throat> See how, how people like it. Thank you, Sly Gamer. Actually, Gator, you some bits. I think I know what book was just spoiled for you. My mother spoiled it for me before, and I disagree because... And I disagree because that did it well. I'll just leave it there. You disagree that it did it well, or you disagree that it spoiled because... Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to read it and see. I should mention, I mean, I disagree with the guy who spoiled it for you. Just, oh, okay, all right, you, you clarify with, with the next thing. Okay, Family Photo Shooters resubscribed for three months. Imagine people getting this upset about a point and click cartoon game. Nah, that's 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 not fair. That's not fair. Like, it, they're they're good, they're good. I, I definitely understand why people are invested. Yeah, I'm upset. We're all upset, you know? I, I was looking forward to this game. I, I was, I really, really like this series. I know that I'm hard on it, but I'm always the hardest on the things that I like the most. I, I really like this series it may not seem like it but yeah i've been looking forward to this playing this all october and after the first trial it's like oh okay well i'm not gonna enjoy this as much as the other ones already like it's it's already the worst in the series for me it's all it's already gone two's the best then one and three 
It's it's already like like the, the game is gonna have to pull some amazing magical bullshit out of its ass to, to pull this back. And I don't see how it's possible. It's it's already two one three. So I'm disappointed. But yeah. Bepis? What's Bepis? Also a tip, don't trust anything you've heard from anyone, even me. Everyone is wrong, Cap, but damn, damn. I'm actually lying to you and I think it's great. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's look at the fan art and then we will start. Yeah, sorry about the long intro, but um, there was a lot of things that we should have discussed yesterday that we couldn't get to, dis to discussing because, um, because I have to leave early. Whoa, this is, this is moving. Oh, this is a video. I don't think I can show this on the screen. I don't, I don't think this is gonna work. I'll try, but I don't think it's gonna work. The Chad Virgin Joe versus the Virgin Chad Joe. Choosing anime over sex, over having sex, let little goblins invade his home and boss him around, doesn't match his opinions with the majority and is therefore wrong no matter what. Useful backwards notions like feelings and emotions to form his opinion. Choosing sex over watching anime. Whoa, whoa. Du duality, Duel duality. Doesn't know. More scared of his feedback on the internet than a horror game. Puts things I don't agree with in his videos. Can you believe it? Takes more time than me to solve a puzzle. Drives a bunch of unfunny, boring jokes into the ground. Doesn't understand that take your time and release your video when you feel ready actually means hurry the fuck up. Virgin Chad Joe, actually not a weeb. Identifies his nitpicks to the viewer, but confident enough not to apologize for it. This Joe respects you as an intelligent player and treats your time as precious. Damn, he's the witness. There's no filler. Each of those in the game and all videos brings its own new idea into the mix. This is a Joe full of ideas. Would never kick a dog. <laughs> Hopeful about new releases, Guild Leader in WoW explains how to navigate a long video in a polite way. Says thanks for watch thanks for watching at the end of his, all of his videos. Already has 9,001 hours, over 9,000 hours in Skyrim, and finally awake after trying to cross the border, but walked right into that Imperial ambush, same as us and that thief over there, Todd Howard, has done done it again. Would never kick a dog. I think that's my favorite. All right. Spiraling out of control. Here you go. Everybody with pickle, pickle negitos. Damn. You know. You know what they should do. <clears throat> they should make a game, a dang and romp game, with it, and and make it. You know. You know how some comic books in the past had um, uh, non-canon stories. So they would want to do some stupid bullshit with Superman, and instead of it being like, well, how are we gonna justify that? They would just say, um, they would just say it's 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 a made-up Superman story. All story Superman stories are of course made up, but it was it was non-canon. It's just for fun. They should do a just for fun Danganronpa game with the survivors of all three of the first ones. Whoever survives this one, and then the cast of, of one and two, or maybe maybe the, the fan favorites of them all, and see how that works. I think that would be fucking great. I would I would like to see that. That would be fun. I'm telling you, Lily, we need all these ketchups for my hot dog. <laughs> I saw this on Discord yesterday. I knew the moment I said ketchups instead of ketchup that that it, 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 something like this is gonna happen. Fucking ketchups. Oh damn, hot dog. 
a sandwich. It's a sandwich. For sure. For sure. <clears throat> he doesn't know. He lacks the required information to understand what's going on. This individual doesn't understand precisely what's occurring at the present time because he is lacking knowledge of events like some sort of complete chump. <clears throat> Joseph Anderson is a fraud streamer who cannot comprehend the future occurrences of this game due to the simple fact that he hasn't already played this video game, which is a video game that I have played, and it's because of the fact that Joseph Anderson is unaware of the future occurrences of this game, he simply seems uninformed and... <laughs> And about this game in hindsight. This occurrence causes me to laugh un uncontrollably as, as I watch him flounder around with this game like a chicken with his head off while I sit here and watch, laughing at his lack of knowledge and information about the game that I have, but he does not have. All right, two, two more and then, and then we'll get started. All right. I agree with that. No, that's wrong. Allow me to surf through those words. Hey, hey. Is there gonna be a hey, hey in this one? I hope so. Hey, hey. Allow me to surf, allow me to surf through those words. No, that's wrong. Gal Galaxy Brain. All right, and we, we, we saved a, 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 more, uh, a more somber one for last. Because it's relevant to what just happened, and it'll, and, and it'll take us into the into the stream, into into the game starting. Rip waifu. We're playing her off. Rip Katie, you were pretty good. I I preferred you already to the other protagonists. But yep. So, so, salute salute Katie, salute Big Boss. Thank you, Katie. You were pretty good. You were pretty good. <clears throat> All right, let's get started. Sorry if that was boring for you, but um, I uh, I like discussing things with chat. Sorry. Do you hate us? If so, have we done something to make you hate us? Huh? Hate you? <laughs> <clears throat> Who can say? Hey, um. That's your job to figure it out. To figure out. If you really want to know what's going on, you're gonna have to work for it. Well... Though the corpse formerly known as Rantaro may have had a. <laughs> huh? Huh? What is it? What do you mean? What was Rantaro's hunch? <laughs> <laughs> what indeed? He did say he would end this game, and he also knew about the hidden door. Could that be at all related to this hunch you claim he had? <laughs> I wonder. Why you? Hey, what the hell is this hunch you're going on about? Spill it. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> if you have no intention of telling us, then keep your mouth shut. Cause! Cause it's a game! You're focusing on, on Katie instead of her deadweight victim. Well... Well, it's not his fault he was useless. He died before his talent could be revealed. If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Too bad. Oh well, he's dead and that's that. That's the indifference of death for you. However, he wasn't really the mastermind, was he? You're really bugging me. Huh? Are you still pestering me with these annoying questions? And another Aren't thing. you guys focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind? If you keep this up, you're all gonna end up like Katie. What? End up like Katie? Yep. What? What what? Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. You never know who's gonna become the next killer. <laughs> uh, I can't to wait. It. I wonder what kind of killing game we'll get to see next. <laughs> Damn it. What what voice did we give for this guy? Is this guy pleasant pleasant boy voice? Or is that Rantaro? I think Rantaro died and we gave this guy pleasant boy voice, right? Damn it. You may have gotten us this time, but we'll get you next time. You'll see. Why? Why are you all psyched up? That's nice. That's my favorite voice right now. 
Himoko is, yeah, is just my favorite. It's 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 nice to see that at least one of you has some chutzpah. I don't know that word. Chutzpah around here. I have a feeling you're gonna live for a while. Thanks. Thanks. I'll do my best. Don't screw around. Shut the hell up. We're not gonna have another killing game. I Kato Mamada. I'm not gonna let you have your way anymore. What's a Mamada? <laughs> Got it? I'm gonna punch that grin right off your face for sure. Is that so? Oh, really? That seems unlikely. Too bad. I'm pretty sure you won't live long enough to do that. Damn. Grr. Well. Anyway, you guys have a lot to think about. <laughs> Work hard and do your best to graduate, because the fun's only just begun. Hey, hey Monodime, explain yourself. Hmm. I get that Monokid was obnoxious and rude, but that was way over the line. Monodam. Because. I did it for us. Ah. Hey, wait, Monodam. Hmm. Where are you going? It's getting interesting. You probably killed him as payback for all the bullying. What an interesting turn of events. And with that, Monokuma and the Cubs left, and only we remained in the courtroom. I don't think I can take all this. I can't stand this anymore. I feel like I'm going to go crazy. No. Sumigi, you must, you mustn't, you mustn't give up hope. Hmm. Is there even hope to be had here? The room feels utterly drained of it. <laughs> Grr. Erg. Kit Katie. <laughs> oh, what kind of degenerate male cries in public? It's so rude. Um. But, Tenko, you're crying too. Hey. Now is not the time to point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Rare time. In times like this, we should pray for Katie's soul so she can rest in peace. <laughs> How how and how's anyone supposed to rest in peace after getting killed like that? I don't know. What are we gonna do from now on? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know too. I'm so over this already. That's enough. Ah, shut up, shut up. You all need you all just need to shut up. Kato's voice boomed in the air, and the room went silent. Damn. Every single one of you and your meek little complaints. Shut up! You're pissing me the hell off. Damn it. But the one who's pissing me off the most Dumbass. is you, Sushi. Huh? What? Pow. Clench your teeth! Kaito, you are supposed to say that before you hit him. Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you. That she passed her wish on to you. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? Damn it. What's the matter? Say something already. Dumbass. I just hit you. Aren't you pissed off? What's your problem? <sighs> Enough, Kato. Mm -hmm. Sucker punching is pretty low, even for a low-life degenerate male like you. Listen up. You better knock it off or I'm going to explode my Neo Akito all over your face. <laughs> Fine. Are you okay? Sushi, are you okay? Uh, okay. I'm fine. For now. Please stop. This sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Mm. Gonta, not sure. A waste of time. But Gonta, agree. Fighting, not good. Then? Can we leave now? Staying here will only make us more depressed. <laughs> well put. I agree wholeheartedly. Sorry. Sorry. You all should go ahead without me. Um... Why, is there a reason you wish to stay in a place like this? Uh, um, I want to be alone for a while, just for a little bit. Yep. But... But we can't just leave you here by yours. No. Sumigi, perhaps it would be best if we allowed him some privacy from now. for now. <gasps> oh, okay, I suppose. Um... Sushi, don't beat yourself up, okay? Yeah. Yep, just hit the reset button on your feelings, and you'll feel happy and cheerful in no time. Listen... Being a tad insensitive is important for survival. It helps one avoid suicidal thoughts. Hey. Gonta will go back too. Let Gonta know if you need his help, okay? Damn, okay. We're all alone. 
I wonder if Sushi's gonna, 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 gonna plant a bomb in the courtroom to get out of jail free in another trial later and not tell us. One by one, everyone climbed aboard the elevator, except... I mean... Sushi, I don't know how well you knew Katie, but why don't you try going to her ultimate lab? What, she had a dog? Huh? What do you mean? That's right. Monokuma set the room up, so there's probably not a lot there to remember her by. But there should, should at least be a bunch of little things she liked. Uh... Okay. Things Katie liked? Listen up. Understand? There's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's going to be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's going to help you, it'll be her in your memories. With those words, he stepped onto the elevator. Before I realized it, I got to my feet. I just started walking and I was headed toward the Ultimate Penis Research Lab. Oh, did she leave a note for us or something? I don't think she canonically came in this room, right? I did come in here, but maybe... Oh, the, the, the sky is different again outside. <clears throat> it's not as if there would be any memories here, but these are the things she was really passionate about, and that's good enough for now. What's a magnificent piano? Did you miss mine? Or, um, I didn't have that on my list. I, I, I. <clears throat> put all the memes that I got on the list. I put it on it now. I'll show it uh, next time we show some some art uh, action cater uh, King of Totoro has subscribed. Thank you very much Welcome to the Jagged Zen King of Totoro and thank you awful waffle 84 for gifting a sub to Cyber monk. Welcome cyber monk. Thank you awful waffle 84. Welcome. Welcome cyber monk <clears throat> Hashtag all chat for lucid streamer uh, live and let love has resubscribed for three months. Thank you very much live and let love I like your name. Thank you, thank you. Um, and someone's sending me even more fan art stuff. Yeah, sorry. I, I'll I'll show it later on. I'm not gonna um, go go through that again. Sorry. Uh, I did all the ones that I that I saw when uh, when I asked for them earlier. Nah, I don't have anything clever to say with these bits. I think it requires too much effort and. Who do you believe is going to be the gal pal for sushi if there is even one? Probably, probably, probably Maki. I'd like to hear her play it, if only just once. Uh, that reminds me of that song Katie was talking about. Of course, it must be here somewhere. I sit in front of the shelves of CDs and search each one thoroughly, end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Ah! Ah. Uh. Here it is. This is it. I took the CD from the shelf and placed it in the player in the co in the corner. And then Katie's voice started playing. She had recorded a, a whole secret message for me and had put it in here. And I cried and I cried while I was listening to it. Soon a soft melody had filled the classroom. A lot of video games use this song. I wonder why. My body relaxed totally, enveloped in the music. It was a strange feeling, the sound seeping into my body. Before long, I began to close my eyes. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. You noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. The fuck is Shuichi? You give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. So please... Be more confident. Damn, she killed someone because of me. 
I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... Take off the hat. No, I'll do it. Take off the hat. I have to believe in myself. Take off the hat. Take off the hat. I won't be Take afraid the anymore. Hat. I will face the truth for everyone. No hat. I won't no give hat. Up. For your sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep. That's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. Eh, that was a pretty good scene. Thomas6589 has subscribed to Prime for the first time. Welcome to Prime Time, Thomas6589. Thank you so much. Musical note hairpin. Aw, those are pretty cute. Sushi, would you like to save? They were so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. I can't say it too loudly, but they were probably killed by that group. What? I thought so. Oh, no. Well, there's nothing we can do about Wait, that. Wait, hold on. I know that voice. I know the voice of that guy that just spoke. It's it's Nazim. Ask, it's Nazim. You don't get to the Cloud District very often. We're in Skyrim. It's Talon Howard has really done it again. I wanted them to live. For our sake, at least. Jeez, I wish they lived. No, they should have lived. They had to. For this world. Hmm. Okay, so... So, they're... What? Why was Katie only... Why was Katie the only one there and Rontaro wasn't? Okay, Katie was Katie's was the only only portrait there, right? Rontaro wasn't there, and I'm just not being blind. Why was Rontaro's not there? That was kind of weird. Okay, so the way that they were talking means that um, they weren't referring to the the killing game because the, the the context of what they're saying doesn't make sense. So it's not like they're like um, holding a eulogy for for her because now she's dead in the game that they're watching. So um, yeah, that that doesn't make sense. But who knows? It could, it could just it, it could mean nothing. Where where are you hiding? Come out. No more hiding. Come out now. Hey! Hey, come out, bugs. Where are you all hiding? Mm. Just when Gonta think he finds some, they gone. Weird, really weird. Plenty trees, grass, water, sun, but no bugs. Why? Weird, so weird. Hey, bugs! If any bugs here come out, Gonta wanna talk to you. Huh? Hmm? What that? Something on ground and grass. Words written on it? Horse A. Lee. Who is it? Wait, I'm coming, I'm coming. With the doorbell hurrying me along, I went to open the door. Click. Hey! 
Hey, what are you doing? It's already morning. Huh? Kato? Where is the morning announcement? No morning announcement today? something come on man. well yeah food Jeez. I was gonna eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall but you weren't there that's why I came to get you huh I must have slept through it I guess how huh, but I don't recall making any plans I mean you should be at the dining hall anyway I mean where else are you gonna eat breakfast hey. uh, I don't usually eat breakfast so huh? are, are you serious if you don't have breakfast then what do you eat in the morning huh um all right ah uh, whatever let's get going the others are waiting oh uh, wait I'm not ready let me get my actually never mind I don't need that anymore. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. It's already starting. What's he talking about? Hmm. He doesn't need his machete anymore because he got a gun and that's what he's going to use to kill? Hmm. It's already beginning. Huh. Okay. Okay, let's go. Damn. Ah. All right. I was going to tell you. My bad. Uh, I'm sorry about yesterday, you know, for slugging you like that. Huh? Huh? Ah, that. It's okay. I see. I see, then let's go. Let's go! Okay, so do we still have all of our shit? Yeah, we have all of, all of the presents. But we're we're at fifteen why are we at fifty-nine percent now? Oh no, there are only some presents that we can get a suishi. We spent all our coins for nothing. Fucking bamboozled again. The game lied to us again. Bamboozled. Did we lose all our friendship fragments too? I can't remember what they look like. Rip dead. Rip dead. Gonta. I wonder what horse A means. Come on, man. Hey Joe, if you don't mind grinding, you can buy an expensive item for an event. What kind of event? I think chat will let you know. Uh, where do I where do I buy the items that aren't in um that aren't in the Monokuma vending machine? There is a place to get them, right? Last time I asked everyone chat when he doesn't know and wouldn't tell me because maybe it wasn't open yet or something. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter right now. Honest. Yeah, like someone tried to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh... Hmm, Atua says it's just graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> now we don't gotta worry about it anymore. Oh, Atua, that's even more suspicious. My, my. Oh, are you saying Atua is suspicious? How sad. Cut it out. That's none of your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? 
you know whatever i bought sushi so let's start breakfast already damn we're gonna eat sushi i quickly realized that everyone was staring at me ah uh, nah. nah as i expected they were looking at me with surprise on their faces no one cared who i was until i took off the hat what, he's got the same fucking like i'm hungry hair what the hell does every character have the I'm hungry hair? Good morning. Ah, uh, good, good morning. morning. Is that why they put the hat on? So you, so you, so you would know that, like, if, if the, he didn't have the hat on, everyone would immediately know that he's going to be the protagonist because he has the I'm hungry hair. Oh, Shuichi. Um. You finally got rid of that emo hat. Is this because Kaede died or whatever? Quiet, you male! Learn some manners, why don't you? Quiet, you male. <laughs> oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. And you could stand to learn some manners, too, you insensitive jerk! No, I just felt like it was getting in the way, is all. Uh, um... You don't have to stare. I just took off my hat. It's not a big deal. That is correct. Damn, he is the biggest I'm hungry here out of all. Look at look at that. <clears throat> Sushi has a has has an a, a, a massive um ohego or whatever it was. You are right, my apologies. I I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat off. Thank Aww. you. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> How nice for you. Unlike plain Jane over here, who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. Um, I am plain, but it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. Oh, uh, what's that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. Listen up. <clears throat> anyway, don't be late anymore, Sushi. We already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. And what, what kind of bullshit's that? Cost power instead of cost pox. You decided that on your own. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? Really? You did? That is correct. Indeed, it was no trouble at all. I've prepared an Italian uh, omelette, buttermilk, pancakes, smoked salmon, galette? Galette? I don't know that word. And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I have prepared rice balls and miso soup. Hey! Karimu, be my mom. Mm. Gonta want you to be his mom too. Hmm. What are you two even saying? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, I'll show you guys something really neat. Is it your weird creepy face again? Look, look, when Himi Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face. Aw, she's like a small animal. Stop it. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. We chatted casually as we began eating the food Kurimumi brought out. And by chatted casually, I mean conspired with the Yashinot guy to commit a murder. Gonta, Gonta, not mean to flatter, but all this food so yummy. Excellent. Hmm, it's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. Mm hmm. The rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. <laughs> S strap in, chat, because this this is the whole fucking game from now on. The whole fucking game. This is it. This is the whole game. The outside is packed tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is nice and soft. And because the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet, sticky grain, even when it's cold. Jeez. Hey, do you have some, hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? May I? By not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. You will find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it w with your entire body. <sighs> nah. I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. Hey! How have you survived this long? <laughs> well? Hmm? What's wrong, Keyboy? You're not eating. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot you can't eat, you know? Because you're a robot. Hey! Hey, now. You're an all-star. Don't look so broken. Don't look, don't, look, don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. Well... I... I don't want that. I'm not a waste receptacle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kibo and Kochiki seem to be getting along swimmingly. Well, not that much, because Kibo can't swim because he's a robot. We were having a normal conversation, as if nothing had happened. 
but we all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. All right, tutorial guy is going to show up and show us what forced conversation is. Ba -ba -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. But that's to be expected. That incident just happened yesterday, after all. Everyone's forcing themselves. That's why this kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. Hmm? Hmm? What's the matter, Sushi? If you're not gonna eat this, I'll just help myself. Ah, uh, sorry. Hey, I was gonna eat that. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled food in my mouth. What th what thoughts were they? Were they thoughts about committing a murder? By the way. By the way, that thing Gonta talked about earlier. Are we going to go check it out? Ah, fucking Qu virgin. Quit fuss. Fucking virgin. <laughs> Yeah, quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty future instead. Huh? huh? Graffiti? Um. Oh, gone to find this this morning. Hey. Horse A. Okay, so let's see. Look at upside down. That could be a Y at the end. B B A S R. Oh, why? Bassroy? What's the fourth letter? <laughs> Is chat just endlessly spamming Leon right now? Oh shit, it's Bass Roy, yeah. It could, it could be... It could be an N, but not really. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. On concrete hidden in grass. Words horse A written there. Ah damn, where's horse B? Hmm. Huh. What do you think it means? Hmm. Well, it's a mean its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. I see. Not not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some anthropology thing. Yo! Well, how about it, Sushi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Huh? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. But, but... Gonta, I'm surprised you were able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass. Feeling divine? Did you channel the, the divine too? No. Oh, that cuz of tiny bugs. Mm -hmm. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um... Yeah, Gonta think that before, but... But... When, walk, when out walking in courtyard, Gonta think he see tiny bug. Mm. But bug so tiny, even Gonta no could see it. And Gonta have 20... 0 0.625 eyesight. So maybe Gonta just make mistake, but Gonta think... Maybe... No, maybe Gonta just see things. Maybe maybe Gonta incapable of seeing bugs like Todd Howard. Degenerate man. God, just make up your mind already, you degenerate. Which means... So, you found that message while you were out chasing some bug? Oh. Wow, Gonta, you did it. I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met. Huh? What? Really? It's true! Yep, so you should work for me. Got it. Okay. What? What? Just, you're, you're gonna agree to it just like that? Hey! Be careful, Gonta, that guy's a real liar. Huh? What? Really? <laughs> no way. Thank goodness. Good. Then Gonta have no reason to worry. Will you believe just anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep being this gullible, well, you know. you'll be killed before you know it. Understand? Damn. Damn. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. The moment Kochiki said that word, the warm and casual mood shattered. What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kochiki's advice? 
Oh, Kochiki, you should no say thing like that, even as joke. Mm -hmm. hmm? Say what? Kill? Has the K word been banned? I hope not, because so many names we give a K. <laughs> so, sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> but that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is still happening. Mm -hmm. How can you be so insensitive, especially after what happened yesterday? I'm ready! This is, what I, this is why I hate degenerate males. They're about as considerate as amoebas. Hey. Damn. Nintendo reference. Don't... Oh, shit. Whoops. Hit the button. You really don't get it. <clears throat> don't complain if some scary guy yells what color is your blood in you. What? It. It's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Or pianos. Uh, me, Draco, you spent my bits to ask. Just finished watching yesterday's vlog. What have I missed in the, in the last hour? We discussed things sort of the first half hour and did did bits and donations and stuff. So, um, you haven't missed much. Uh, Sushi took off his hat and that's pretty much it. Huh? What? Oh? Oh, did you hear that? Don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. Hello, looks... Hello, looks like you guys are having a good time. Let me join in. My, my Sumigi voice is really bad. It's Mikan's voice. Yeah. Yeah, they're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. What? Isn't it your fault? Huh? Hmm? Ganging up? Hey! No bullying. Bullying is not cool. Bullying is the worst. You're Personally, annoying. I think bullying is because of lousy parenting. Yeah! It's all the parents' fault. They should do a better job raising their kids. More importantly, why are you even here? Yeah? Yeah, remember when your, your cubs were, were bullying Monodam and now he's killing them? Damn. Damn. Uh, I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. Huh? A prize? Rise and shine, or Rise and shine, or shine. So long, very well. Rise and shine, or shine. Um. Um, the reward, right? Mm. We brought it, yep, so I'll just give it to you then. Huh? Hmm, my kids seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. I think. Are you being bullied? <laughs> yeah. huh? Huh? Th that's um. I knew it. I knew it. I understand. From experience. Huh? From experience, Himiko, were you a victim of bullying in the past? No, I was the bully. <laughs> is that why your heart is broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? You're the worst. Yeah, use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into misshapen wretches. Stop it. I don't use my magic for stuff like that. And don't just make up my backstory. Huh? Huh? Hold on, the Monocubs bully each other? What? No way, the Monocubs should always get along. Oh hey, you kids pups. play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do bully... <laughs> Rah, 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 rah. Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all friends now. We all get along always. Hmm? Oh, yes, we do. Right? See, my children are good kids. They would never bully each other. Why, you? The bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh, well. Well. I think the threatening vibe we Monocubs give off is perfect. And that's that. Because we're a team of scary badasses who are gonna drag you down to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Such adorable little badasses. Anyway, we're gonna hand out the rewards you all have been waiting for. Listen up, because we got these here fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. Is that like a price tag, a bowling ball, um, ocarina? And I can't remember what that's called. This looks like a crank. But it has a specific name, doesn't it? Damn. Su sushi, sushi, get the bowling ball. You can use that for a murder later. Get it. Take it. Take it. Tire iron? Is it just a tire iron? A lug wrench? Maybe it's a lug wrench.
a dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. <laughs> There you go, it was a crank. Uh, a dragon gem, damn. These prizes all come in a bundle. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. Bravo, bravo. Yay! I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? What? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? To tell you the <clears throat> truth. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for. Okay, so does the passport go in the in the wall in the corridor, and the dragon gem goes in the dragon statue with the eyes? Um, what was the the, the ocarina goes into one of the other statues as well? Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backward. Mm. How nice. No. Oh, don't get inspired by him, Gompta. Yeah. Anyway, that's the situation, so just do your best however you please. Weak. Let's go. What? You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point. Mm -hmm. Secret weak point, you mean the nape of our necks? Oh. Not, not that anything but that actually wait so the nape of your necks is your weak point i i would never do that i just want to get along yeah what get along really you stupid don't let him fool you he killed monokid remember so, so long farewell. farewell 13. Hmm. Um, seeing that robot looking one get left out makes me think of kibo huh Am I really excluded? Hey. So what should we do with this junk? Could it be? Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over the campus. However. And what'll happen when we do? Uh... Um, I'm not sure. See? Well, we'll know once we try. I'll take the junk then. Ah. No, let's leave this to sushi. Huh? What? Me? Hey! You're the player character, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. Got it. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Uh, okay. okay, I'll try. Man. Man, whatevs. I guess that's fine. So I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. All right, let's get going. I didn't understand the crank joke. It's uh, from Resident Evil, right? Oh damn! They're 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 above the, the mini map right now. I don't remember there being any mysterious objects. No, I want to spend my fucking coin. <laughs> my magic is reacting. Huh? Your magic. Hmm. There's something around here. There's no mistake. I hate you so much. But I have everything. No, I don't. I don't have everything now because because there's a, a, a like a presence you can only get after it's it, it does the bait and switch. At least I assume so. Like I thought. Oh, you came here after all. It's plain to see this strange thing here just in plain... What? It's plain to see the strange thing here is just plain strange. It's plain to see the strange thing here is just plain strange. What? So is it plain or strange? Yeah. I don't know. The rain in Spain. Oh no, it didn't work. Oh shit. This this one. Oh, there we go. Oh damn, it's like Neo. The wall came down. Oh. 
Was it because of my magic? No. Ah, uh, no, I used an item on this object and... It's magic. It was my magic. Uh, okay, um... sure. Oh, it's Strawberry Room! This store is different from the others. It might be an ultimate research lab. From the look of it, I guess it's the ultimate magician's lab, but we're not gonna go in right now. Oh, <gasps> I was wrong! Oh, damn, look at this! That's true. Okay, a little annoyed that you guys got here before me, but all right, as I suspected, it's full of stuff related to magic tricks. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whose research lab is this? If it's supposed to be mine, then there should be magical items. Hey! Right? Uh, um... Right, why are you asking me? What a huge saw. Hey! This room can't be locked, so we don't just... This room can't be locked, so we don't just have to worry about the tricks being stolen. Sumigi didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she wanted to say. It's not that I'm thinking the killings are going to happen again, but... Uh, okay. Right. I can really feel it now, just how bizarre the situation is. <laughs> nah, they mixed up magic tricks and real magic. But this is a pretty thorough collection. Hey! It seems like there are labs for everyone, but why prepare so many? What is this place? Um. Monokuma said that the Ultimate Academy... That this was the ultimate... Sorry. Monokuma said that this Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles was made for the 16 of us. Hmm. 14, is that really true? Hmm. Hey, the rooms in the dorms have locks, but this research lab doesn't. Okay. Uh, it looks like they're not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Him Himoko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. Mm. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't enough. It's magic. It's magic. But if I use real magic, not magic tricks, she's not gonna budge an inch on that, on that, on that point. I think I'm just adding words more often than usual today. Uh... To think that there was a room like this beyond that wall. What? I wonder why they went out of their way to hide it, though. Miu and Katie's research labs were open from the start. You're right. <clears throat> yeah, because they were relevant to the plot. That's right. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's probably better to not bring up Katie just yet, huh? No. Ah, uh, no. It's it's fine. I'm okay. I see. I see. Well, that's a relief. I was just plain worried. Um. I don't know how just yet, but like Katie said, let's survive and escape this place no matter what. <laughs> Uh, um, what is this? It's a huge cauldron like one of which would be stirring in a children's book. You. Don't go touching whatever you want. That pot is collecting mana. Huh? Mana? Hmm. Don't you know? It's a necessary energy source for magic. I see. Oh, I see. You mean like ether or life force? Hmm. Hmm, the names are different depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana. It's perfect for me. Hmm. Is that so? Damn. I hope that, you know, you don't use this magic to commit a murder at some point and we're gonna have to be like, Oh, yeah, yeah it makes sense. You just fucking cast a spell. How did, she, how did she get through the, the gap under the door and then get out again? Oh, well, she turned herself into a fucking mouse and then went under it. And then she turned herself back. It's magic. It's a huge water tank. I wonder if it, this is her magic trick too. This is a guillotine, right? I know it's just for a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. This is going to be used for magic too. I've seen it in a magic show. Okay, how about every character gets gets Himoko's voice? Himoko's voice. What do you think, chat? Uh, um... What is this? Hey! That's the magic trick where the person in the box is stabbed by swords but comes out fine. No. It's not a trick. That's one of the space type spells. Huh? Space type? <laughs> 
Oh, that sounds like high-ranking magic. That's right. Exactly. You need a lot of skill for space-type spells. No average mage can handle them. Uh... Mm hmm So in other words, you couldn't just be a mage. You'd have to be a, a sage. You'd need the words of wisdom for that. Sumigi so was somewhat able to, fo to follow all of that. Nah. Uh, um. <clears throat> this is a bird cage. Hey. hey, Himiko, what kind of magic trick do you use the cage yeah. for? It's not a trick. I'm telling you, it's real magic. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I forgot about mm. that. I use that for a number of spells. It's also good for carrying my familiar. What? Familiar? I see. Oh, you mean that trick where a dove comes out of your hat? Uh. Uh, you mean a magical animal? Mm. Yes, that's right. But my familiar isn't a dove. It's a tiger cub. What? A tiger cub? What is this? It must be so cute. I'm jealous of you being able to pet something fluffy like that whenever. Why is she salivating? What? I'll admit, even I'm kind of jealous. Because a tiger cub would be really great for the murder that I'm planning. Salivating is weird. It's a monitor for communicating with us. They really are everywhere. They want us to know. They want us to know that we're under their control. But it doesn't have any surveillance equipment to spy on us. What? But it's not any surveillance equipment to spy on us. Okay, how 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 Monokuma know who who kill her then? How how Monokuma know who kill her? I mean, he must have some surveillance equipment, it's just not coming from the monitor. Is that poison up there? Is the poison on the shelf? Joe is playing a game that he has not played before. Jeez. So you finally decided to raise your head. Huh? What? Your... Up till yesterday, you were always walking around, staring at your feet, right? Even when you had to look up, you used your hat to block out what you didn't want to see. I can't deny that. However... This world can be too big and bright for eyes that have spent too long staring down. So be careful. Don't let your eyes deceive you. No, the reason why I was looking down whenever you saw me is because you're really short and I was looking at you. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. <laughs> Humph, sorry for the unsolicited advice. This guy's ridiculous. Listen. What? I wonder, does Monokuma wish for... What, I wonder, does Monokuma wish for us to do? Huh? What do you mean? I cannot fathom the reason he would give us those items and make us search the school. Hmm. Now that I think of it, the school regulations didn't mention searching the school. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. <laughs> this rule is indirectly urging us to search the school. Yes, I suppose it is true. Let's see. What will come of our search, and how will everyone react to it? I shall closely observe each of them as well. Hee hee hee. Who knew? Oh, I knew you'd come to check this area. That dragon statue seems pretty sketchy. Damn. Ah, uh, sketchy. Hey! Sushi, there anything Gonta can do? Please say so. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I don't think it's gonna open this wall. It's gonna open something, like, over here? Because isn't this... Like, is, isn't this open air over here? Maybe not. I don't know. 
Damn, there's a lot of fucking people up here right now. What the hell? How, how big of a wing is this going to open? What do you think? Have you recovered from your injury? Huh? Injury? Yes. When Kato struck you last night. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It didn't bruise or anything, then. see? Good. Should it begin to hurt again, please let me know. Though I cannot perform surgeries, I can make use of the medical supplies in the warehouse. Uh, um... You have medical experience too, Kurumi? I am a maid, A true maid must be able to adapt to any situation. Besides, I too intend to fulfill Katie's request, so I will valiantly perform any task, trivial or otherwise. Kurumi. It sounds like everyone is taking Katie's final wish apart. Even if Katie is no longer with us, Katie's wish will never vanish. Mm-hmm. Go on, try to solve the puzzle. You're clearly a pro at playing with yourself. This is true. Hmm. You look better now. I didn't think you'd get over Katie's death so quickly. No. We don't have time to be standing around. Ew. How heartless. I guess, I guess you two weren't as close as you looked. That's not true. That's not true. It's because of the wish Katie gave me that I have to keep moving. I made a promise that I won't give up. O oh, Atua, who art in heaven, please allow Rantaro into thy kingdom. Hmm. Ah, sorry, you were because... praying. Because everyone's so sad over Katie, they've forgotten about Rantaro. Who? So I'm going to keep praying for him. Huh? No, no, it's not that we forgot. Uh, yep. It's okay. It's easier for me to earn points if I pray. It's a shortcut to the platinum membership. Her religion has a point system. Oh, damn. Actuology. Oh, Ocarina. Oh, damn. The crank. Oh, the dragon gem. Yeah, sure, that makes more sense. Dragon, dragon, oh, the dragon. Oh, I guess the school does extend further out. Okay. Oh. Part of the wall is gone. Oh. Whoa, that's so cool. You can get past this wall now. All right, then, charge. Oh. Wait, charging in is dangerous. Um, Kurumi, what's wrong? No. Nothing, but I feel stagnant air drifting from this damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. <laughs> Nobody's been here for quite well. It's, this place isn't real. There are no bugs, so it's not a real place. Exactly how long is a long time? It's, it's it's impossible to make make a place like this with no fucking bugs. Okay. What's that? Maid? It's like a maid kind of hat kind of thing. Oh damn, this place is getting huge. Stairs? Oh. God. Wait, what? Uh I guess there's like there's there's like a, a building out there, a wall there that you just can't see through the window, maybe? I don't know, who cares? It doesn't really matter. Look at this door. This must be the ultimate research lab. All right. All right. Let's go inside. Hmm. Okay, that's not creepy. This room gives off an antique vibe. It seems as if these are Victorian. These decorations adorned by adorned the British Empire at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. Mm. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. If I remember correctly. Speaking of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, correct? Well, it's trial two. Time to introduce a serial killer. I wonder who it is. I wonder who's Jack the Ripper. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder who's Jack the Ripper. Time for one of us to just become a fucking serial killer. 
Oh no, damn, have you heard about Jack the Ripper? Did you hear that there's, there's, there's a, there's a copycat that is currently going around that's a serial killer? John, John the Ripper. Oh no, who's John the Ripper? Damn, no one's John the Ripper. Speaking of that is correct. Ever the detective, I see. So, this is the ultimate maze lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kurumi. Yeah, th this is kind of, this, this room's kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Damn, poor, poor game. I'm Jack the Ripper. There's a doll at the dining table. Perhaps a family dinner? That is. This is my research lab. Then I presume these figures represent those I'm a serve. Sit and serve dolls? It's kind of kind of boring. Excellent. Hmm. Victorian. This room is quite tasteful. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, me too. I see. This appears to be Kurumi's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Yusuke closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. Yes. The era is 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey! That sounds like the plot of a manga for girls. <laughs> Is that so? Then are you saying I am like some young, love-struck girl? Hee hee hee. So that is how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Damn, I, I love this guy, damn. This guy's my favorite. I'll investigate here a little more. Didn't we, didn't we look at everything? Oh. I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. I could use them to disguise myself as Kirumi when I commit my murder. Oh, damn. Instead, there were a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. These appliances will prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? Cleaning, you mean the school? Kurumi, you don't have to do that. I do not agree. I do not mind. To serve others is a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I prefer my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. Hmm. I suppose that's what that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will grant your wishes. I will do anything you ask. Anything? It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. But now I know I can use her as an accomplice when I do my murder. These are some powerful cleaning tools. You can get a lot of cleaning done with these. You could also kill someone with a pressure washer. Easy. There are a lot of washing machines in here. Yoo-hoo! Sushi, we've been waiting for you. Hurry, hurry, we're all ready. Hurry, hurry for what? What's in the box? Mimic? What is this? A treasure chest? Yahoo! Yahoo! We found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Sushi? Huh? Really? I should open it? Uh, yep. I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Sushi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. Alright, fine. 
with sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest and open it from the back. And then, and then as long as you're behind it, when the mimic launches forward and tries to eat you, it won't get you. Unless this is Dark Souls 2. Like, you'll be fine. Huh? What's this? A flashlight? No, it can't just be a flashlight. It's a ghost light. You can see ghosts. Maybe try turning it on. No, it's too dangerous. We should inspect it. Huh? Mm, it'll be okay. Even the flashlight is saying, turn me on. Turn me on. Hurry up and turn me on, Sushi. It's begging you. Then... Uh, if you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well Then Then I'll meet you halfway and inspect this flashlight myself. Huh? Meeting me halfway, huh? Bayonara. Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bayonara! Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a, with a ran off with a bounce in her step. But... Wait, inspect it. How? Treasure chest is empty. The flashlight is on the inside. That was kind of weird. I know it's unexpected. Unexpected. Now this is a strange door. This might be an, ult an ultimate research lab. Hmm. Based on the design, could it be the ultimate entomologist's lab? Gone to have his own lab. Ugh. Whoa, look at all those bugs. Insect specimens lined the entire wall. It was a little, no, very gross. Amazing! Amazing! This paradise! I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. To monitor for communicating with us. They really are everywhere. They want us to know we're under their control. But it's not any surveillance group and spy on us. Well, I mean, like, you have tiny cameras that you just can't see. So that's a it's a weird thing to say, like, cause cause the bear obviously knows what's going on. I guess that's a clue that he doesn't need to have the surveillance equipment. He can still see whatever we're doing. But um they made a point of having that in what? In, uh, in, in Dangarampa 2, even though it wasn't necessary. What did I just hit? There are a ton of insect specimens on display. Wow. Pretty bugs shine brighter than sparkly rocks. Mm. Gone to understand. Person who made these samples must love bugs. Each sample made with love and care. Maybe Gonta did it. Putting love and care into bugs? Well, I suppose everyone's different. I know. Yeah. I know people that put love and care into their bugs. Wow, that is an extraordinary amount of bug cages. Mm hmm. Hmm. Lots of larvae and eggs. And even they sleeping in cool place. Uh, um... They were refrigerated? But... It's okay. Eggs probably hatch if Gonta take good care of them. Well... Well, do your best then. Damn. Gonta use bugs to, to do murder. If the, all these hatch, there'll be bugs all over the academy. Releasing all these bugs in, the, in a new world. It's like that Bible story. Noah's Ark. Is it though? If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood and humans and animals began. Perhaps that's a little too dramatic. Amazing! Amazing. Gonta wonder how many bugs there are. Gonta so excited he get his own special room. Mm. Who make this room anyway? Gonta need to say thank you to Gonta. Huh? Uh, um, I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monokos. Huh? What? No way, Monokuma? Yeah. But no person who likes bug can be bad person. Gonta sad. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's just not possible that there would be no bugs anywhere on the campus. It's, it's just fucking impossible. I didn't think they'd do the simulation thing again. Um, and I thought the clue where they showed Katie and like, in, in, like, having, like, with a brain thing on her head. I thought that was misdirection, but I guess not. Says who? S says reality? How could you clear out a place this big of, of bugs? It's impossible. S 
stairs. Looks like I can go to the third floor from here. All right. They're a little scary, but I'll try it. They have scary stairs. It's a video game, Joe? What do you mean? Why is that relevant? Video games don't have to follow any real world, world logic? Then, okay, then... Uh, how is it a mystery? How are you supposed to think, think things through? It has to be internally consistent. Pointing out that there are no bugs is is deliberate. If there wasn't a reason for there not to be any bugs, they wouldn't point it out. There are plenty of places that don't have bugs like sterile environments for manufacturing, etc. You've been playing too much Skyrim. This is a huge domed school that has trees and grass and soil and overgrowth everywhere. You can make a small area completely bug free, maybe, but. Daredevil's room. What would be in here? Probably rackets and training equipment. An entire indoor tennis court. This is impressive. Damn, look at this thing. Tennis net, it's stretched tight and looks sturdy. Shower room. Hey! Ooh, now this is an interesting machine. Uh, an interesting um... machine? You mean the one swinging the racket? Ah! With a few mods, this bad boy will look real good. Yeah, my creative juices are flowing. So <laughs> <good>. <laughs> Big metal arm. <laughs> Come from her, it has to be inappropriate. I have a bad feeling about this. Um, this is your lab, right, Ryoma? Must be nice having a whole tennis court here. <laughs> Humph, I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis. Hey! Ryoma, are you really not going to play tennis anymore? What was that? Tennis? Who the hell plays a hoity-toity sport like tennis? Sure! Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't you? I threw away my past. It's fine if you forget. That was a long time ago. <laughs> So, when you killed the Mafia with your badass tennis skills, was that a long time ago, too? Wait! Hey, come on, Mew. What was that? What? It really happened, yeah? No. Yeah, it's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a different prison. Humph. So it'd be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Then why are you staring at that tennis court with such sad eyes, Ryoma? <laughs> are you a little bitch? Because you're acting like a little bitch right now. <laughs> What's with the stare down? You're scaring me. or something in the back. Oh. There's a shower room in the back. <laughs> a shower room? Why don't you boys go in and give each other a good scrub down? You're already the perfect height, Ryoma. <laughs> You'll be lined up just right when you turn around to face sushi. What? I was just kidding. I thought you'd laugh. Why, why don't we go in? I don't have to take a shower right now. Oh no! You can't go into the fucking room. Okay. Damn. Oh, 
Uh, thank you, Spooktacular, for the new sub with Prime. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Spooktacular. I know there's some fan art that we need to put on screen. Yep, I know that. Uh, when we take break, which is going to be very soon, uh, and when we come back, we'll 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 look at the fan art and everything. Thank you again, Spook, Spook, Spooktacular. Uh, there might be a couple other subs that I missed. Um, I'll look at them right before uh, we take break. Just want to get to the next room first. Surprised I'm finding the little mono, hidden Monokuma things. Hmm. What is this? It looks like a door, but I uh, see it's just a painting of a door. It looks like a video game. I think this is called. I think this is called pixel art. Weird. What if we're gonna get another round of presents later that's gonna open up even more? And look at this door. This must be an ultimate research lab. Hmm. I have no idea what kind though. I should take a look inside as I reach my hand to the doorknob. Stop it. I did not give you permission to enter. Huh? Ah, uh, Maki? So this is the ultimate child care child caregiver's lab. You wouldn't think so, judging by the door. That's true. You're right. Goodbye. Ah. Wait, can I look inside for a bit? No. No. Huh? What? But there's no rule against people going into each other's labs. I don't know. I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. Huh? What's going on? Hey! Hey, what's going on? You guys aren't in the middle of a tiff now, are you? <sighs> See? Thanks to you, an annoying brat has showed up. Because? You hear that, Sushi? An annoying brat has showed up. All because of you. Uh, okay. Yeah. So? So what's up? You don't want anyone to enter your lab, Maki? Don't be so pushy, Sushi. It's not good to do stuff that'll make a girl upset, you know? Uh, um, okay, I understand. Then... Good, then stay away. If you try and go inside, it would be extremely painful for you. <laughs> painful. What is it? What, you gonna yell at no. me now? No, not at all. Then, then go away. Oh, that sucks. Monkey downstairs. Okay, let's take a break. I think. Lily, it's okay, I'm gonna come upstairs right now. Sorry, I was looking at Finn, so he, he didn't come down the stairs. The stairs aren't, aren't the best here. Yeah, I saw it when before I said Lily not to come downstairs. Don't worry. Decently hidden, though. Pretty good. Scary stairs, scary stairs. Okay, um, let me... Hold on, do you guys, you guys want to look? You guys want to look at Mackie? Uh, thank you, CG3, for the new subwood prime, and thank you, Severians, Severians, for the new subwood prime as well, or Severian. Uh, thank you to both of you. Sorry, I, I missed it. Um, I guess I forgot to check for, for a little while. Thank you, thank you, CG3, and thank you, Severance. And, and, and Hunter used 100 to say, I hate Himoko so much, but because of the voice you gave her, I want her to survive. <laughs> I, I, I like her voice a lot. Can Brad use 100 to say, Himoko, slow motion Nagito? Is it? Is, is every voice going to become Nagito's voice? Maybe. Maybe. Well, because it's magic. I don't know. Uh, also, just making sure once again, because I can't miss this. Yeah, I think I, ha I, think I have it already on my list. Uh, Tim Foley's under business show me some more links as well. Yep, I have, I think, six links here to, to go through when we come back. Um, hey, Joe, how come you like Gundam but dislike Himiko? They both have the same gimmick. Well, Gundam was, was, was clearly, you know, insane, and it was a lot more entertaining with it, with his insanity, and, you know, it, it, it was fun, you know? I, but I kept saying, you know, but Himiko is, like, 
salty and annoying and doesn't really do anything. I don't know. Probably, probably some bias that, that I prefer wacky men over, over wacky women when it comes to characters. Bias, bias. Thank you, Spooktacular, uh, again, for the for the sub. Professor Apprentice, please give me some bits to say. I was very late today, but it turns out you also were late and ranting for the first hour of the stream. Thanks, Joe, for being so considerate. It's a great Skyrim joke here. Todd Howard has done it again. Yeah, we're about five minutes late, and, and we, we had a discussion for a while. Yeah, about half an hour or 45 minutes. I'm not sure how long. Anyway, I'll read the rest of the messages, and I'll look at the fan art when I come back. Um, I'll be back in five minutes. Go get a drink, brush your teeth. Here are some some tasty ads.
why did he not like Iconoclast? I didn't dislike it, uh, I just didn't go back to it. I wasn't loving it, but I wasn't disliking it. It was okay. I'd like to try it again sometime, but probably not on stream. Yeah, I thought it was decent. Just tuned in, why is it ruined? Uh, because you can't trust anything that happens to the main character anymore. So the murder mysteries are ruined for me. There's still other things to enjoy in the game, but uh, the murder mysteries were why I played. Primarily. Okay, let me get set up with um, all the fan art. Or fan memes. Stream memes. Okay, so I think I have about nine. Can you imagine having murder mysteries run for you so easily? What do you mean? If, if there's no way to work it out, then it's not a murder mystery. It's just a murder story. And those are fine. You can enjoy them. But I, I wanted murder mysteries from this. Like, if you don't understand where I'm coming from, I think you're deliberately trying to to, to just ignore what I'm saying. Um, I'm not saying you should agree with me. Absolutely not. But if you don't understand my point, then uh, do you just not understand how murder mysteries are supposed to work? Because again, cause I want to make this clear because a lot of people take what I say out of context lately. I'm not saying if you understand what I'm saying, you have to agree with me. I'm saying if you understand what I'm saying, you must see why I feel the way I do. You just don't agree with what a murder mystery should be, right? Or why you enjoy murder mysteries. I dropped everything I was holding. Zero IQ. I dropped my bag and chased the sushi. 11,037 IQ. I escaped the killing game, visited a theme park, met the love of my life, grew old together, died of old age. Kitty, you done? Came back to life, returned to the killing game, killed Rantaro with a shot football, met it with sushi. Who's <laughs> some duct tape with a hat? Oh no no no! He's he's literally sushi. Sorry, I thought you were doing a duct tape joke. No, he's he's literally he's literally sushi with a hat. <laughs> I, I I like I like the style too. Is this style called something? Is there a name for this kind of style? I like it.
I dropped everything I was holding. That's good. Thank you for that. Grass text. On concrete, hidden in grass. 11037. Damn, what kind of horse is it? I'm curious about the horse, eh? I don't know what that is. There is a 17th student in every single one of these killing games that has been responsible for every murder, and I will prove it. Don't worry, I'm not actually spoiling V3 for you here. First off, this, the amount of en entities that were present in this school so far, 16, student, 16 students plus that one hidden student, then 5 monocubs and monokuma, plus the spare monokuma that spawned after the first one died. 16 plus 1 multiplied by 5 plus 1 plus 1 equals 119. With that 17th student over these three killing games there have been 16 potential victims and in each of the last two killing games six people were murdered and one more with rent and now one more with rentaro 17 times 16 times 3 uh, minus yeah, you, you guys get it but plus one uh equals 613 the five mana cubs have too much power bro and that's as unlikely as the number 13 lad 5 by the, to the power of 2 times 13 equals 325. The 5 monocubs having too much power results in the ability, their ability to manipulate 2 times morning and night time, night time being 10 o'clock and the deadline for murder. Add on, add on that the loud countdown started at 9 o'clock. 5 to the power of 2 times 10 times 2 plus 9 equals 509. Miu t seems to mention her bus size a lot, so her 30... <laughs> Chess must be important in this investigation. Seven people, including Mia, were unaware about the meeting in the basement during the murder, while two people knew knew uh, about the meeting but weren't in, weren't invited. All sixteen of them knew the number the knew the murder by the end. Thirty nine times seven minus two plus sixteen equals two hundred eleven. Now. To analyze the murder, Rantaro's murder is a heavy burden to carry, and he weighed 137 pounds. Only three people knew about the cameras that took pictures of his last moments, and seven people were down there when the alarm went off. 137 times 3 plus 7 equals 418. And so, we have this evidence. 119, 613, 325, 509, 211, 418, but yeah, wait, if I arrange it in ascending order... Wait, if I assume the digits in front are labels, then... And if we replace all the large numbers with corresponding letters of the alphabet, like 1 equals A, 2 equals B, then... Oh, <gasps> Skyrim! Oh my god, Skyrim. Todd Howard, I've done it again. Raise your hand if you thought you were if it was gonna be a one one zero three seven. This was from Action Caterer, by the way. If anyone wants to know what this is from, Todd Howard has done it again. Well done, well done. Probably, not even probably. That was the most elaborate ship post we've ever had on the stream ever well done well done <sighs> props to action caterer there are violent and disturbing images in this game Best face. <laughs> it's just the best. <clears throat> I no longer need that. I need this. Aww. Aww. Look, 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 look at the, the exaggerated uh, Ahago ah there from, from Merrick. It's, it's, a, it's a sweet, sweet image. 
This is the whole thing, by the way. It's, it's, it's there's, 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 there's no joke here. There's, there's, there's no second part to it. It's just a nice, nice, sweet image from, from Mary. Oh, wait. Long Ahago. Place my arm with with with, with a pickle, Hajime. I, I'm I'm pickle armed, Nagido. Touch my pickle, Hajime. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Uh, Sushi Saihara, the ultimate dust expo ex expert. I love dartboards. <laughs> He really is, though. I wonder when we're gonna use dust for uh, for, for our our ends. Dusting for prints, man. It fits. It fits. Okay, I think I have one, two, three, four more. Four more. Yeah, I, I did that one. 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 Yep. Okay. So I have four more. Give me, give me my fucking coins. Slapping the shit out of some chairs. Rip waifu, gone too soon. Broken heart. This is true. This is true. No more, no more Katie. No more Katie. Gone too soon. F, F. Oh, I lied. There are only there are only three more. Well, two more now, but there were three more before. I already showed this one. All right, this is another new one. Oh, look how cute, Joe. You don't get it. This game is perfect, and you can't criticize it. Fight me, IRL. Oh no, it's retarded. Oh, nah. Don't 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 say that. Don't say that. Don't 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 insult dogs like that. Like, come on. No, no. We're good. We're good. Most people have been fine. Most people. Most people. This is a meme format, isn't it? I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. Joe made this one. Joe, Joe did not make this one. Most people have been fine. All right. Persona Fusion, Becky, 2B, oh damn, top wife, yep, for sure, this does it for me, for sure, for sure, that's my fetish.jpg, for sure, it's true, it's true, not even gonna argue. Number one. All right. Uh, are there any other fan arts that or fan memes that I missed? Let's see. I think I put them all on the screen that I I was sent links to. So if I have missed one, I consider myself done right now. So if I missed one, please let me know, and I will add it to the list.
During 555, you simply say sushi, sushi thinner protagonist hair called an aho, aho, ahoji uh, represents how he will never be whole without Katie. The, the bay antagonist. It is a masterstroke of character design and a bold take on heroism's meaning. We can deduce that the ahogi represents a loss as it was hidden until Katie passed. It also denotes power as Sushi could never find his confidence without the help of others. These are only surface surface truths. The thickness of an ahogi is a topic too complex for a mere comment. Damn. Damn. Baytagonist. Baytagonist. This is true. I, I just, I, I just, all, all, all this was lost on me. It's just too, too deep symbolism for me. Uh, Hot Ironclad is used a thousand bits to say, "Hey Joe, hope your day is going well." Sorry to hear that some people, that some of people is giving you a bit of a hard time uh, about about this. Now, pe people have been pretty good about this. Um, the the video is getting uh, the new horror video is, is getting uh, slammed a little bit with some shitty comments, um, but they're coming from a good place. Uh, very few people are being um, obnoxious for the sake of being obnoxious on the video. Uh, I just think that in internet discussions have kind of become corrupted by some pretty bad ideas, and, and it's and it's just getting worse right now. The whole subjectivity versus objectivity thing is, is, is becoming really, really bad. But yeah, thank you for the bits, though. Thank you, Ahad Ironclad. That's, that's, that's quite a lot of bits. Thank you so much. Uh, Tiger Uppercut 1226 has used 100 bits to say, I see. Is that why you tend to like uh, reserve characters like Kyoko and Chiaki, but dislike whack, whack your female characters like Ibuki, Akane, and Tenko? Uh, though Aoi and Mikan are still pretty wacky. Uh, Mikan was okay. Uh, it's more, 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 more the nurse thing. Um, I, 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 it's probably because. Um, spoilers. I'm, I'm, I'm straight. So when, when I'm looking at characters, primarily. As when I look at female characters, it's more judging them from that perspective rather than anything else, which is probably a flaw when it comes to the characters and probably because I'm in the mindset of, of oh, who's going to be best girl, who's going to be a waifu. So if a, a girl character can't can't become like waifu material, then it's kind of like eh, less interested. And that's pretty bad. It's, it's not a good thing. Whereas the, the guy characters, I can be I can appreciate more for, for them. In, in other ways, not just that, you know. Whereas, Abuki, it's kind of like, yeah, you're really, really annoying. I, I wouldn't want to spend a lot of time with you. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong with that assertion. I'm not sure. Akane was okay. Akane, I didn't like Akane because she's just kind of nothing. Abuki was just kind of too random. Tenko is is too much of a caricature, caricature for me. I don't like Tenko because she's either a, a, a man-hating sexist asshole that isn't really interesting or she's a really 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 um disingenuous betray uh, portrayal of feminism so it's 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 one or the other either one i i really don't like it but she might have more depth on later Aoi where it was a bit more grounded probably the more the more grounded uh, uh character of of those sets and mikan was just kind of ridiculous but yeah more the nurse thing Tundra Tenric has resubscribed for eight months with the message. Congrats to you and Lily on the pregnancy. Wife and I have been enjoying your content since the beginning and are proud members of the VOD squad. All the best. Thank you very much, Tundra Tenric. Thank you very much. Shout out to the VOD squad. And thank you for the congrats on, on the pregnancy. Uh, I'm hoping that um, Lily, Lily gets better soon, obviously. Not, not you know, it's, it's not going well for her, but she seems better today than yesterday. VOD squad, VOD squad. Freekill101 has used 100 bits to say the issue with the whole first case isn't just unreliable narrator in a murder mystery, it's unreliable narrator in a game. The player's agency is only real because you control your character. You can't just break that tether so casually and expect it to hold water. Yeah, I think I mentioned that earlier. I wanted to go into more detail on it, but um, I got distracted by some other comment in chat. Yeah, it's 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 a big problem. Yeah. Um, you can do, I, I think that's, I think I started to hint at that when I said, you know, in a movie you can show the character seeing something, but you don't have to show, show it to the, the viewer because you can just do a close up on their eyes and be like, oh wow, what are they seeing? You know, that sort of thing. You can't really do that in a game outside of a cutscene or anything like that. Um, and it could be the perspective that's limited in a little bit on, um, on, uh, on a visual novel. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. 
yeah, I don't know. The fact that you can hear their thoughts is, 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 uh, closer to a book. And yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't wanna get back into it though. It's, it's a good point. Me, Drake, are you some business to say? Uh, what color uniform would the employees at the Cringe Cafe use? Don't wanna spoil anything, but I need to know. Ooh, I don't know. Chat, what, what, what color uniform do you think the employees at the Cringe Cafe would use? Uh, purple? Purple, maybe? I'm, just, I'm thinking purple for some reason. Purple? Action Cater has used 100 bits. I hope you enjoyed that. The next time anime gets massive, you know I'll prove. Sorry, a, a meme gets massive, you know I'll prove with math that it is the murderer. Oh, shit. Shit, the meme killed somebody. Thank you, Action Cater. It was pretty good. And chat really enjoyed it, too. Thank you. Rough Clouds used 100 bits to say a bank robber was caught surviving out in the wilderness. It was a case of criminal intent. <laughs> have I played Harry Rain? Yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Harry Rain was pretty bad. Uh, even worse than, than this. Okay, let's keep going. Cursor was on the screen. Couldn't move it. <clears throat> uh, can we talk to you? You know what? I don't care. Okay, are we are you done here? Or are we gonna go and, and find a place to put the crank in the ocarina? Outside. I know one of the statues is outside. Let's go down here just to be sure. I don't think there's anything in the basement, but let's let's find out. Yeah, there you go. It's not in the basement. Hmm. Hmm, that's strange. There are fewer plants around here. Some places are being renovated as well. It did say it was under construction. I suppose construction is still ongoing. But where exactly is this academy built anyway? No one has come to save us. It must be someplace remote. But where could you build a complex this large and secret? So there's a statue over there, and there's a statue over there, right? Let's go talk to the astronaut guy. Oh, that opens up, okay. Got it. Oh, Sushi, have you solved the mystery of the junk yet? I mean... That weird projection there, I've got a feeling you can use that one thing with it. <sighs> projection? Well, I've got no idea how, though. But you know... But my hunches are usually right, let's give it a try. What? I don't understand. My ocarina. Ah, oh, damn it, wrong again, shit. I wonder what the letters mean. Protrusion. Oh, okay, it just, they got it wrong. All right.
Okay, so it opens to a staircase and you go down. Alright. Hotel Kuma Sutra. Damn. Damn. Let's take Katie there. Oh, wait. Shit. Set price rest $25. Two guests, two hours until 12 p.m. Overnight 45, shift one, shift two. Okay. This looks like rules. So what are the rules gonna be? Murder? What is this building? I'm not sure I like the implication. Great spot to commit a murder though. Door says Avarita and Luxuria. Hmm. It means Avarice and Lust. Weren't there two L's on the second door? What is this place? Is this like a casino? Rise and shine. Rise and shine or sign. Why hello bear. Why hello bear. Um. This place is not like a casino. It is a casino. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This place is a casino. You can earn lots of mod coins in exchange for fabulous prizes. Yep, yep, you sure can. <laughs> that was wonderfully amateurish, Monadam. It had a flavor not even father could match. That's right. In a sense, you surpassed Daddy. Okay. Which makes you a grandpa, Monadam. Grandpa Monadam. So long, farewell. So long, farewell. Fourteen. Casino. Why is a casino a place like this? Welcome, welcome. At the casino, you can use special casino coins to play various games. You can exchange mono coins for coins at the cashier. Once you exchange them, they can't be exchanged back, so know what you're doing. By now, you should be able to. S By now, you should be able to see how many coins you have. The coins you've saved up can be exchanged for fabulous prizes at the prize exchange counter. We're always getting new prizes in, so look forward to that. Damn. I'm so happy I spent all those coins there. For games for you to try in the basement. Go ahead. Let's play. I don't get coins for blasting things off in here, so you can't just farm coins in here. Crystal Bangle owned. Ultimate Academy bracelet owned. Okay, I don't have any of these. Why are some of the question marks then? Those those get unlocked later. Key of Love. Key to a certain place filled with greed and lust, you can give it away, but some might, good might happen if you keep it. Oh, okay. Alright, so we want that. We want that. We want... Is that it? There's nothing else? Oh, cool. We can get it with, with these two. Alright. Ooh, that's pretty good. The first level will be filled in from the beginning, effective during Hanman's Gambit version 3. Increases the size of slashes. Nice. Increases the speed of fired truth bullets, effective. Damn. Three Fs during non stop and mass panic debates. So, 
message to Sahara's theme for those who purchase and pursue the truth. Damn, one zero zero one nine. Damn, why, why is that there? I don't want to do too many because I still want to go back to the to the to the to the thing and see if I can buy any. Um, let's go down to 250. Is that a big mistake, chat, or is, does that sound reasonable going down to 250? If you have a love key at the end of the day, you will get an event with a random character, but after the event is over, you lose the key. At this point of the game, it takes a while to it takes a while to grind one. So we can grind for it and, and uh... and get random events of people. Okay, we have 920 coins. as many love keys as you can get, but I won't say why. Uh, Base on Twitch has subscribed Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Base on Twitch. Thank you very much. Oh, damn, he's here. Thank you, thank you. Got it. Oh, look, sushi. Kaido shouted and pointed at a treasure of coins in front of him. Uh, Whoa, where'd you get that amount of coins? Uh, I had the jackpot. I got this much from just one coin. Uh, All this from just one coin? That's incredible. Uh, Hehe, <laughs> just a regular day for the luminary of the stars. My intuition usually leads me to victory. Nice work, Maverick. That's some uncanny luck you got there. Damn, you are secretly the un the, the ultimate lucky student. Yeah, thank you again, uh, based on Twitch. Whoa! Whoa, don't just jump out like that. <laughs> My bad. I was lured here by your lucky streak. Nice haul you got there. If you, you could cash in those coins for something really splendid. What character is he playing? Well, well. They're only good here, though. But if you earn more, you could reach the best treasure in this place. Huh. <laughs> After hearing that, there's no going back for me. Huh? But you could trade in what you already have right. But you could trade in what you already have right Come now. On, what are you saying? If I don't meet this challenge, I'm not a true man. Besides, there's no way my intuition as luminary of the stars can be wrong. That's, nice. That's it, Maverick. You demand. Damn. I'm gonna lose it all. And thus began the sad tale of Kato's downfall. Because I began to plot his murder. What? Ah, damn it, not again. Well, well. What's wrong, Maverick? You're down to half your coins. Wouldn't it be best to walk away now? Shut up! It's just half. I'm gonna get everything back. Just you watch me. Kato inserted one coin after another, but a win never came. Damn. This is my last coin. Let's go! This is where I'm gonna have my dramatic comeback. Just you watch. Kato slid his last coin into the slot, and with a determined stare, pulled the lever. Ah! Right here! Ah, ah, ah. God damn, terrifying. Too bad. Too bad. Your intuition was totally wrong, Kato. Man, I'm glad I built this casino. Watching suckers lose everything is hilarious. <laughs> damn. Damn it, I was set up. If only I'd stop when I was ahead. You do hear that from a lot of people who have gambled away everything. They think they can they can win just a little bit more and end up destroying themselves. Don't screw around. I'm gonna quit gambling forever. You can bet on that. That is also typically what these those people say. 
Damn it. Right. Damn, I'll try to read about that. <laughs> Fucking chairs. It looks like I can't play this right now. It looks like I can't play this right now. Salmon fishing. Salmon fishing. It's a game where you fish for salmon. Maybe I'll try this one. Would you like to play the game? Read the rules. Salmon fishing, salmon night. On this night, the salmon come left and right. Use your Monokuma eye to find them. Fish for the color Monokuma desires. In Monodam- In Monodama- In Monodama bonus. But beware the mines. That was quite the poetic explanation. Was it? Would you like to play the game? Yes. Kind? Coins you bet will be multiplied depending on how well you score in salmon fishing. Aim for a high score for a big payout. Max bet. Okay, I don't know what this is. Let's go 10. Ready. Go. Green. Uh, oh, why? Okay. No, 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 this one's red. No, it changed! It changed! Why did it change? It's ruined. It's ruined. Red. Green. Blue. Green. I wish I could move the control at the reticle faster. Monodam things. Those were bonuses if they were the right color. Rank. So we got. Okay. So I think this is a way you can get coins no matter what. Like there's no way you can lose, right? You can't lose here, right? Let's do 99. Let's max the bet and see what happens. What's kind? How do how do I switch the the difficulty?
297 coins. All right. So it's gonna take a long time. Yeah. All right. Like, would it would it be better to, to gamble? I don't think so. I think I think gambling is gonna be. It's not gonna work. Let's save it and try and try gambling. We're safe, scummy. Slot, 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 slots. Mono mono slot. Looks like a slot machine game. Maybe I'll try this one. Read the rules. Mono mono slots. How to win slots? Serve as many coins as you like, then spin the slots. You have a 100% chance of winning if you never stop. Spin, spin, spin forever. This is true. Well, that was nonsense. Would you like to play the game? Yep. One. Bet. Max bet. Uh, no balls. Just bet. Max bet. Let's go. Oh no! Max bet. No balls. Max bet. No balls. Yeah! Max bet. <gasps> Lucky. What does that mean? What does that mean? What, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. St bonus game start. What does that mean? Four bonus game. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh, we're winner. Winner's us. Oh damn. Oh shit. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Wait, so why did I just sit here and press Y for, for a fucking hour or what? Duh, 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 duh. Oh shit! I mean, I can't. I, I feel like I can't lose. Like it's. Uh, unless, does the game fuck with you? Does it? Does it? Does it do this at the beginning? Because you think, oh great, it's a trap for Monokuma. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, God damn, yeah, so much. So much. All right, welcome to the rest of the stream. Welcome. Welcome to the rest of the stream. Curious to, to hear your working theory about this game's plot just got here. What do you mean? Like, what what do I think's going on? Um, I don't know. I, d I don't. I don't really know. Uh, I haven't finished the anime yet, so I, I feel like I'm flying blind. I don't really know what happens at the end of, end of the anime. Oh, damn! Nice. So I'd rather not speculate until I know the end of the end of the anime.
Bum, 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 bum. Do a Q&A with this in the background. Yeah, we probably could. Yeah, this is a good idea. Just to get a bunch of coins for the for the for the playthrough. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Yep. Oh, nice. Free spins. Bump, ba da ba, bump, 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 bump. I think I think the whole thing is a simulation again because there are no insects on the grounds and they pointed that out. But uh, apparently, chat disagrees and thinks I'm being dumb. But oh, what the hell? That was a lot. But uh, I I don't know. I feel like they're pointing that out for a reason. And it's an, and it's a clue. I think there's some shenanigans going on with the with the flashback flashlight thing that they were using. Um, uh, when when we were we were given our memories back, I don't know why they would erase our memories to give them back to us. So I don't think that's what's what's what was going on. It feels like that it was implanting memories instead, but I don't know. I don't know why they would do that. maximum jackpot you can get or rather what is the jackpot the seventh yeah but what what's the what's the reward Can see it in details? Okay, I'll hit I'll hit X after this. Match the pattern for 100, 1,000 mana coins. Match the pattern for 20 mana coins. Use no wilds and use them. And use the monokuma for 200. All patterns will reset, but if you receive fewer, Can I stop, please? Yeah, I'm gonna stop soon. Don't worry. I want I want one more big win, and then we'll stop. So you definitely can't lose, uh, unless it changes later. Are these different machines? Are these different? Looks like a slot machine game. Maybe I'll try this one. No, it's the same thing. Yeah, so let's just leave, and uh, maybe I'll come back and get a love key later. But um, yeah, we'll see. I, I want to go and see if I can smash some chairs in the other room, get some more coins. And I'll go back to the vending machine to make sure that I'm not missing um, anything from the vending machine now that we switched over to sushi. I like this. This is neat. 
What if there was a, uh, a Monokuma kid in there that I missed? Oh, is there one in the boys' bathroom now that we're sushi? I'm so excited. Boys' bathroom. Let's go. Ah, oh, What do you think of the first shot from uh, a thematic perspective? Do you feel that Sushi and Katie's characters reach a satisfying conclusion? It was pretty good, yeah. Could we have always seen the casino there? Yeah, it was pretty good. I like that it was it was uh, sushi, sushi facing his demons a little bit, and he had to decide that he wasn't going to be raw anymore, and he got cooked. So like, it's, it was it was decent. Um, that item we received earlier. I think we can use it on the stone monument. Can you try? Hey, Tenko. Mm -hmm. I can't believe what happened in the dining hall earlier. Males are so insensitive. <laughs> I wouldn't ever dare to ask why you decided to remove your hat. That's something that should be kept private between you and Katie. Thank you. Thank you, Tenko. I, I also feel that I must carry on Katie's wish. Right. No matter what, we'll get out of here. I won't give up. Listen up. Sushi, don't ever conduct yourself in such a shameful manner ever again. Okay. Yeah, I won't. So is that why the hat looked really stupid when he was wearing it? Because they just they just pasted the hat over all these sprites? Because it never looked right. <laughs> the vine suddenly withered. Mm hmm? The ivy withered in seconds. What remarkable technology. Huh? Ah, we can get in. We can go in from there, right? Um. Damn, what a fucking simulation. You intend to go inside. That of course that course of action seems dangerous. Rise and shine, Earth sign. Rise and shine, Earth sign. No, it's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Huh? Pool. Okay. Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. That's right. 24-hour convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also inseparable. Wonderful. wonderful explanation. Huh? Thank you. You stupid. Humph, I don't know why being praised by the guy who killed our bro makes you happy. So long. Farewell. So long. Farewell. Fifteen. Um. What should we do? There may be a pool, but we're not going in for a swim, are we? But. But if it is not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It is never bad to have too much information. You're right. Yes, I suppose you're right. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool at a resort. There isn't that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? Yeah, I was gonna say, and I thought it might wow. just be art style, but yeah. Whoa, I've always dreamed of swimming in a fancy pool like some big shot celebrity. Um. Too bad I don't know how to swim. But I suppose that dream is pretty far away. Hmm. It's not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. Too bad I'm a robot and I would fucking die. If I tried to swim, I would just sink. And that's that one is even farther. <laughs> Some pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find peculiarly, hmm. peculiar. So swimming is prohibited at nighttime. Okay, someone's gonna die here. There are rules. Building the mystery. You're building That's a mystery. Right. That's right, no one's allowed to swim during nighttime. It'd be terrible if someone died due to an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. We need you to die in the killing game. 
You can visit the pool at nighttime, but even touching the water is against the rules. Oh, I guess I'll add to, to the existing regulations just in case. Mmm, school regulations have been updated. Uh, anyway, why is the pool's water level so low? It's barely enough to swim. What the hell are you saying? You got you got gaping holes instead of eyes or something? That's right. There's enough water to swim. It only looks shallow because the pool is so deep. And someone would be more likely to drown if you filled it all up all the way. And that's that. And that's that. They put a lot of thought into some strange things. That's wonderful. Wonderful explanation, everyone. Eh? What? Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say Are that. You stupid. Did you forget that he killed Monokid? You should hate his guts. <sighs> Screw Monokid. I always okay. hated him. He was violent, vulgar, rude to shop clerks, and had a soft spot for abandoned kitties. Hey. Why'd that sound like praise near the end? So long, farewell. So long, farewell. 16? 15? Anyway, no swimming at night time. That's okay. I wasn't planning on swimming. Okay. There are also some specif specifications written here. The pool is 82 la feet in length and 60 39 feet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each side on each end and the left and right sides are 8 feet each. Oh no. I wonder why that's being brought up. I would love it if there's no murder here. I would love it so much if this is just all... Yeah, fuck you. You thought, you thought there was going to be a murder here? No, this was just useless information. I would love it so much. So clearly, uh, he was, he, he measured it so he could calculate how he could kill somebody later. He's just, lo he's just logging that away. He actually, when he was measuring it out, he was actually putting, putting a rope, uh, here. So he could tie someone up and dunk them in the pool later. It just, you know, just didn't tell you. Hmm. If you fell off a boat and sank to the bottom, would you be stuck living under the sea beneath a rock and a pine or a pine and a pineapple? What? No. No, I believe that before you get you get too deep, your body would be crushed by the pressure. Please stop! Please don't say such scary things, both of you, or I'll never set foot on a boat. What if it's just ev 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 after every trial we just become a new character? Listen up! If there's a fancy pool here, then there must be swimsuits in here too. Huh? Huh? Are you positive? Like every, every every single time we switch over, so like so this one's this one's sushi's murder, and after that we switch back to our girl. So we switch to Maki because Maki has no personality. So we switch over to Maki, and as soon as we switch, part of her hair goes boom, and she gets she gets an Ohago. And then Maki Maki commits a murder, and then we switch back over to 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 Coco Chiki, boom, Ohago. Then over over to fucking you know Himoko. Oh, that's why she's wearing the hat. She has, she has an Ohego as well. Oh, it looks like I'm the protagonist now. Did the perspective change from magic? Huh, are you positive? Yes. Of course, there'd be no point in having this pool here yeah. otherwise. Well, I suppose that's true, but... So where are the swimsuits? I only saw extra school uniforms back at the dorm. That's true, all the closets seem to contain... All the closets seem to contain is spare uniforms, except for mine, which is full of fucking murder weapons that I've been collecting this whole time. Hmm. If there were any swimsuits, I suppose they'd be in the warehouse. What? How scandalous. They're in a place that degenerate males have easy access to. Uh, um... I don't really think that's a problem. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're the worst Degenerates only care about you swimsuits, or ones that girls are wearing, don't they? If that's the case, then the swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. Oh, he has an Ahago already, you're right! Oh shit, it's been staring at me in the face the whole time. We become him at one point. Damn, staring us right in the face. All right, so is someone, is someone gonna dive? Is the, does someone like take the water away and someone just dives right in and breaks their fucking neck or something? Like, what, what's this all about? I, fr I froze the water so there was ice underneath and then put a layer of normal water on the top so no one knew that there was ice. So when he dived into the ice, it broke and then I melted the water so it looks like he just he just drowned. It's a large diving board. This is also something you would find at a resort. Storage room door, pool entrance. Uh, um... How did they freeze such a, a, a large amount of water in time? Well, it couldn't have been magic. This looks like a storage room. Hmm. 
I peeked inside and discovered all manner of pool supplies in here. It is fully stocked with kickboards, water polo balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. By the way. <clears throat> Perhaps I can float in water if I inflate them and attach them all over my body. <laughs> uh, I think you would look like that tire company's mascot. Damn. All right, we're not looking into it. All right, we don't go in that room until the murder happens, I guess. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool at a resort. The pool is deep, but it isn't filled all the, up all the way. Still plenty of, of water to swim in. Damn, it looks deeper than it, than it is. Damn. It's Silent Hill too. Uh, some pool rules are posted here. This one I find peculiar. Okay, so swim for is brave during nighttime. Do not die from a leg cramp. Do not die from slipping. Do not die from choking on your food. Or, or what? Like, if you if you die from a leg cramp, you break the rules, they're gonna bring you back to life to kill you again. Ooh, gym window. <clears throat> that window must be the gym's window. It looks like the, the one that was in the gym. I suppose that means the gym and the pool area are connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty standard for a school to have the gym and the pool area near each what? other, but I think the pool can be moved to a, a much larger area. There's plenty of land in the courtyard. What about there? Uh, um... I don't know. Yeah, let's move the pool. Okay, so that's going to be relevant. All right. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, damn. How many swords is the killer going to need? Oh, no, no, he, 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 he just, you know, fucking puts his back against the pillar and crab walks up. The window must be one of the, must be one of the school buildings. I remember all the windows being sealed off, but <clears throat> this window in particular, it looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? Grr, anyone could peep through that window. Huh? Peep, who would do that? I heard degenerate males get more turned on by girls in swimsuits than by girls who are naked. Maybe. And they go bonkers over the bloomers we wear over our panties that we wear over our privates. Degenerate male! What are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of degenerate males? No. Uh, I think you may be overreacting a little. <gasps> oh, Kibo, are you a degenerate male or a girl? Which is it? Hmm. Good question. I've honestly never thought about it before. Huh? Really? How interesting. I suppose I did just assume he was a he, but Kibo is a robot, so... Is he, though? Is he? I suppose this is... This is all for the pool area. I still have other places to investigate. Do we, though? Because we we're, we're out of items. Yeah Yahoo! Found you, Sushi! <clears throat> I didn't know you were here. I've been looking for you everywhere. Huh? Ah, Angie, did you find out anything about the flashlight? Uh... Yep, I finally figured it out. It seems like the two wants us to gather in the gym for an explanation. Bayonara. You don't have time to relax now. Bayonara! <laughs> if Atua is going to explain it to us, I'm guessing she didn't figure it out. In any case, I should go to the guy. <laughs> with the gamepad as you can with the keyboard and mouse. Go back, you missed a special event. What, what special event? Everyone! Everyone, gather around. Prayer time! We all hear good, then let's bow our heads and pray to Atua. Bitch! You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? Just tell us what you fucking, yes, what you fucking want. <clears throat> Alrighty then, check this out. What's the matter? This this is a peculiar looking flashlight. So what of it? Uh... Um, I don't know what it is either. I inspected it pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but in the end, I couldn't figure it out. Huh? You couldn't? How divine! 
So I asked someone for help. Could it be? You don't mean. Leave it to Monokuma! If something has you worried, just let Monokuma take care of it. If you don't know something, I'll tell you. If you need help, I'll help no you. If you don't way. like something, I'll fix it. So don't get rid of it. Please don't get rid of me. Very bad when lady who act like that preys on you. <laughs> Do you know that from personal experience? Yeah. Tell us, Monokuma, what is this flashlight? Yeah. Why? <laughs> That's a flashback light. Oh. Uh, a flashback light? Huh? Flashback? My, my. Light? Hey, um... That flashlight doesn't shed light on darkness, it sheds light on your lost memories. Right. Lost memories? Yeah. Yeah. You guys seem concerned that you couldn't remember how you came to this school. But if you use that flashback light, you can remember everything. Huh? What? With this light? Yeah. So it's your fault we don't remember when we were kidnapped, huh? May I? What did you do to us, and how did you steal our memories anyway? And another thing. Hmm. Maybe if you use the flashback light, you'll be able to remember that too. This is stupid. I don't believe it. No way this flashlight will, re will recover our memories. Yeah. Yeah. I bet there were a lot of naysayers and skeptics when the telephone was invented too. Hey. For your information, the flashback light can treat various symptoms of memory loss. Did Angie use it? And is lying? The light it emits stimulates the, the basal ganglia and hippocampus. Not just that, but physical. Phew. Phew, I didn't realize how boring it would be to explain. Basically, it works like that. Hey. Remember in Danganronpa 1 when they wiped the memories of all the cast and they just never explained it? That was fun. Hey, don't just give up on explaining after a single sentence. What should we do? So, what should we do? Um, what should we do, you mean? Should we or should we not use the flashlight? No. No way, I refuse. It reeks of fishiness. What? I only touched it for a little bit. Mm. Yeah, Gonta no can believe flashlight can bring back memory. Well, well, why not ask someone who knows of machines? We've got the ultimate inventor here. Aww. Right here. You're all a bunch of ultimate dumbasses. Ooh, the burn. Damn. Damn, how will we ever recover? No fucking way that thing can treat amnesia. Then again, these aren't exactly normal circumstances. Well. So, in such an uncanny environment as this, common sense has no place. Uh. Well, I mean, there are those n neuralizer things, the, the flashy things from Men in Black. Yep. Well. Why are you talking about a movie? This is real life. I guess. You're right. I'm sorry. I don't like that. I don't think we should do it. I'm scared it might cause some weird side effects. Mm -hmm. Nah. I'm worried how it will affect my magic. All of you. Has everyone spoken? If we're in accord, I will consent as well. Then. What about you, Sushi? You have not said anything yet. Huh? What? Uh, I... All right. All right, then it's decided. Let's use it. What? Huh? Who decided that? We were all saying how dangerous it sounds. Jeez. Jeez, you guys are way too cautious. I mean, I understand why we're in such a weird situation after but all. Know. But we can't win just by running away all the time. What? Listen up. If you want to win, you've got to be a little reckless sometimes. If we can't face this danger, there's no way we'll be able to defeat Monokuma. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> well, aren't you confident? But you've no idea how we're supposed to win, do you? Ah. Yeah, I've got no clue, but still. Let's do it. If you want to win, you've got to make a stand somewhere, or you'll never move forward. If we run away, our kids will grow up to be the kind of people who run away from things like this. I don't understand. Uh, what are you talking about? You know... If you still want to run away, then go ahead. I won't stop you or blame you. Okay. Okay, fine. Then let's go. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Aren't we going? Um... I'm staying. Listen up! After hearing that degenerate speech, running away would just frustrate me. Mm. Gonta also stay is what true gentlemen would probably do. Probably. Probably do. Yep. Just, just fuck it. Just throw Prawley in. One hundred percent. I also agree with Kato. Our defeat is one hundred percent assured unless we stand up to this. That's how I feel deep inside. Just a whisper. <laughs> you hear it in your ghost? I'm pretty sure robots don't have ghosts, though. That is not funny. Leave me alone. Robots totally have ghosts. Prove it. Prove that I am not a ghost. 
<laughs> I shall stay as well. I suspect I will be able to observe something most interesting. On your knees! If anything happens to me, y'all better beg my fans, the world, and humanity for forgiveness. Hey! So what are you gonna do, Sushi? Have fun, Joe, inviting the rest. I have tickets to see that Englishman Johnny. The movement you need is on your shoulder, Joe. Oh, well, hope you like the movie. Action Kidder. Rough Hog says, Sushi has been hoarding kitty litter to stuff into his swimsuit. <laughs> Wheelink 1000 used 50 bits to say, I walk into the library and into the bookshelf on the back. I open it and, and a flash goes off. A camera. I go over to investigate. There's music blaring in the background. Thunk. My head gets covered in red. The camera takes a picture of me before dying, revealing my identity. Piranha Plant. Mass Hero Soccer Guy has done it again. <laughs> so what are you gonna do, Su Sushi? Uh, okay. uh, I'll stay behind too. Got it. Right. Right. I'll stay too. What if it might cause some weird side effects? That's no big deal. How long is the stream gonna go? Another hour and a half, I think. We'll take a break in 30 minutes and then we'll go for another hour after that. It seems as if... It seems everyone agrees with Kato. Very well. I shall follow suit. Very well. I will go along with this. <laughs> oh, now it's decided. Hurry up and do it. Then I'm gonna turn it on. Yeah. Yeah, please. Click. Click? Uh-oh. At the moment that Angie flicked on the light. The world warped. You're useless to me. A lightning bolt in my mind shattered my consciousness like shrapnel. Like a video and fast forward scenes played out in the back of my head. When the pieces of my psyche had gathered together again. I remember. I remember now. I was running away. I had been running this entire time. From the ultimate hunt. Those of us with ultimate talents were hunted down. I wasn't safe anywhere. Eventually, I had no place else to run. I was cornered and to escape from the ultimate hunt. I threw away my ultimate talent to live as a normal high school student. By erasing my talent and my memories, I no longer had any reason to be hunted. If I didn't do, do what I did, I would have been captured, a fate worse than death. I mean, isn't isn't talent relative though? So when you got rid of your ultimate detective ability, isn't the next person that is a detective becomes the ultimate detective, and then they hunt them, and then when they're dead, the next person who's the next the third best detective becomes the next ultimate detective. And so I chose, or is it just about going to Host Peak Academy? I chose to gamble on a new technology developed in a particular facility. Technology that could put your memories to sleep by controlling your brain waves. I used that to hibernate all my memories relating to my talent. That's it. Okay, so it was like there something being sucked out of their heads instead of uh, instead of um, a simulation. Yes, I remember everything now. In order to escape the ultimate hunt, I erased my own memory. Hold up. Wait, did you say ultimate hunt? Huh? Huh? Really? You guys too. So it wasn't just me getting chased down in this ultimate hunt. I do not agree. Yes, you were not the only one. I, no, we, we were being chased as well. We looked around at one another, each of us with the same shocked expression. What Kirumi said was true. We were all the same. We were all running from the ultimate hunt. In other words, all of us here were being chased by the ultimate hunt. Except for me, because I was in prison. What on earth does that mean? Um... Oh wait, can someone tell me what that is? I can't seem to remember. What is the ultimate hunt? Oh, is it, is it, is it, oh, it only brings part, back parts of your, of your lost memory? Jeez. Jeez, how could you forget something so important? All right, guys, the ultimate hunt is... What? That 
was a drinkless sip. I hope you guys like it. How? What was it? At? Why can't I remember? Uh, um... I can't either. I suddenly realized I could not remember any important details of the ultimate hunt apart from the fact that they were hunting ultimates and I had to run away from them. But how? It's no use. I can't remember either. I can only remember being chased. Also, why the fuck did the flash black light look at, work on me when I am a robot? I can't remember anything else at all. Yeah, no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to remember. Use it again. I use the f don't want to live. Use the flash backlight again. Just use it again. I want to die wanna... with everyone else. Ah. <laughs> uh, what was that? I want to die with everyone else? I remember saying that, but why did I say it? Uh... Um, it's no use. I can't remember either. God damn it! Uh, this feels gross. Like a shit that won't fully squeeze out. That does feel However, gross, yeah? Even if we can't remember, we should still be able to figure something out. Huh? Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> if we were all running from the ultimate hunt, then why are we imprisoned here? Why? Huh? Why? Could it be? Could the reason be that we were caught by the ultimate hunt? Caught by the ultimate hunt? Um... You mean, you mean we tried to escape by erasing our memories, but they found us anyway. And subsequently, we were captured as part of this ultimate hunt. You know... Then this killing game is... Yeah. Yeah, it might be the work of the ultimate hunt. Let's see. If that is so, then I am all the more concerned about this ultimate hunt. But, but... I wonder if they got Geralt. But, but how disappointing. No one can remember anything. <laughs> what a dis disappointing disappointment. Piece of shit. Quit laughing about this, you little shit. It seems, as if... it seems losing him made a far bigger impact than we expected. Huh? Him? Yes. Rantaro, he seemed to know more than he than he let on. Hey, yeah, I have a question. It might, this might sound a little weird, but does the ultimate the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Ah. Oh, I do sort of remember him saying something like that. Mm. Hmm. Our mild-mannered mystery man said that, huh? But... But then, why did only Rantara remember the ultimate hunt? Because he was... He's the mastermind, and he's not really dead, Hajime. He, he faked it. He's the ultimate possum. He faked it. The blood, the ball... The, the, no, it's all... It's all... It's all bullshit, Hajime. It's all bullshit. Listen. There's... There is a point. There's no point discussing that now. After all, he is already dead. <laughs> but if you truly wish to hear his words, I could perform a seance for you. <laughs> Don't screw around! So stop it. Don't bring up weird stuff like that. And why are you acting all... Acting girly all of a sudden? Whoa. Too bad! Yep, death can be real heartless. Why you? Says the root of all evil. <laughs> Looks like you guys safely got your memory back. Hey! What the hell's going on, you stupid ass bear? This ultimate hunt makes no goddamn sense. Yeah. Looks like your sealed memories are more stubborn than I thought. Just one use of the flashback light wasn't enough to restore all your memories. Use it again. It's broken now. Find another one. They're one use only. <laughs> You're such a terrible liar. You totally did that on purpose. Well... What connection do you have with the ultimate hunt? <laughs> I can't reveal that. Regardless of my true identity, my goal is crystal clear. And that is to make you guys participate in the killing game. That is my only desire. The killing game. That's what it always comes back to. You gotta be kidding me! What? Killing game? I never do that. I will never do that ever again. That's right. We just gotta work together. If we cooperate, we'll make it out of here alive. <laughs> just like a certain someone said. Leon, Arcadia. But, but I believe cooperating with each other is the most logical course of action. Snore. Uh, I'm snoring. Why? Why are you sleeping? Whoa. Whoa, huh? What? Jeez. Hey, Kochiki, we're having a serious conversation here. Hmm. And is it written somewhere that I have to take serious conversations seriously? Pika pee. <laughs> Quit acting so immature. Hmm? Hmm? I'm a teenager, so duh, I'm immature. Aren't you guys forgetting to act your age? What is it? But I don't have a biological age. Ah. Don't worry about it, Kibo. I'm just talking to the humans right now. <laughs> so? What were we talking about again? Something about working together to escape, right? Mm -hmm. So 
so you were listening, you horrible degenerate. See? We don't have to work together, though. Let's just ask how we can get out. What's the point? If we ask Monokuma, he'll say the only ways only ways to win the killing game or to go through the sewer you pipe. really don't get it. Oh, we're not going to ask Monokuma. We're going to ask the mastermind among us. Huh? What? Why, you? Are, are you already going to go on senile? I thought we agreed that there is no mastermind. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? If we tried to sniff out a mastermind again, we'd just repeat Katie's screw up. <laughs> not necessarily. You? You'd better quit messing around. Huh? Eh? You think I'm messing around right now? Oh, man. Oh, man. You really don't get it. I'm trying to get this through to everyone. If you keep saying all this uplifting stuff about working together and cooperating, <laughs> then you can expect to receive some painful retali retaliation, right? Wait. Get it? Just made up a word. What are you suggesting, Kochiki? That's enough! All right, that's enough. I'm going to slug him. Whoa. Uh, he's going to punch me. I got to make a break for it. Kochiki said his piece and then dashed as, fa dashed as fast as he could out of the room. Damn, he's fast. Damn, plot point, plot point. Uh, thank you, Aquasword for Aquasword 22 for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Aquasword 22. And thank you, Snuggles, for the 13 month tier 3 resub. Thank you so much, Snuggles. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, usually when I say thank you for a tier three resub, some people in chat ask what a tier what a tier three sub is. Um, when you sub, you can there's tiers tier one, two, and three, and uh, tier three is tier two is more money than one, and tier three is more money than two. So thank you so much for the tier three resub, Snuggles. Thank you. Are we taking a break now? Uh, no, about 20, 25 minutes until break time. We we'll take break at six my time, and then we'll uh, and then we'll come back and play for another hour. Or so, yeah. How do you think the, the games would fare if they just accepted the premise that there are teens stuck somewhere killing each other and didn't take the time to explain hows and whys of it all? I think that might be better in some ways. I don't... The the, the story uh, that's going on um, outside of the killing game is usually disappointing because it doesn't make sense and it feels really forced. Um, if you could do it, I think it would work out really, really well and it could be a good part of the game. But um, if you can't make it good, I would rather just not have it at all. Yeah, I don't know. I think so. Can you stop playing this stupid murder mini game and go back to the real game? The slots, 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 slots. Now we'll do we'll do slots again some, at some point. All right, thank you again, Snuggles. Thank you, thank you. Damn, he's fast. Sheesh. Jeez, what a strange guy. Jeez. He just provoked people, and he just provokes people, and never says anything from the heart. He's always messing around and making fun of those around him. Huh. How can he say such insensitive things when we're trying so hard to survive? <laughs> It's like he doesn't even want to survive, though I guess I'm no different. Huh? What? In other words. Yeah, I don't plan I don't plan to survive to the end. Ryoma. Um You not plan to survive? What that means? That is. He has mentioned that before, that he has no reason yeah. to live. He doesn't have a reason to live. But poor Ryoma. It seems he's got a more tragic past than we can even begin to imagine. Damn, Ryan was getting a tiny little bit of plot development. Uh oh. I mean, uh oh. Yeah, but the ultimate tennis pro shouldn't be saying such cowardly stuff. Uh oh. What do you think? Perhaps we should relax over a meal. Everyone, could you please tell me your favorite foods and beverages? Huh? Ass, huh? You're going to whip something up? Kurumi, are you like the perfect mom? After we finished the meal that Kurumi prepared for us, we decided to return to our rooms. But on the way to desert to, to return to your room, I went and put in place a murder. Just because I said we decided to return to your room doesn't mean I actually did return to my room. There are hidden monokumas around the Ultimate Academy. Maybe you've already seen one. You can collect hidden monokumas by investigating them. Your collection will be displayed on the shelf in this room, so you get busy filling it. They're fun to look at when you want to get a little break from everything. Anyway, what is the ultimate hunt? It's still bothering me. 
And why did Rentaro know? It's bothering me that I remember it, but no one else does. But I suppose I won't get anywhere thinking about it by myself. Time for action, because I already All know right. everything about it. There's still some time left for today. I need to think of a plan to kill somebody. I need to think of a plan to kill somebody. That's what that meant. See, it, it, the words were there all, all along, you just didn't know. My closet is filled with uniforms exactly like mine. They went through all this just for a killing game? What is their objective? But there's also a bunch of other stuff in there that I'm not telling you about. Get it, you hit the first trial. This is getting real annoying. Well, buckle in because it's happening for the whole playthrough. I'm not letting up. Ah. Oh, hey, Sushi. You seen Kochiki anywhere? I saw him a while ago and tried to tell him something, but he got but he got away again. Should I hang out? Nah, I don't want to hang out with Kato right now. I want to go and see the slot machine and also go in the boys' bathroom. I want to go in the boys' bathroom. Boys' bathroom. Boys' bathroom. Come on! No? Oh damn, I thought for sure. Is it behind something? I'm so disappointed. I thought for sure. Uh, it's still 100%. Okay, so we don't need to spend any coins on the Monokuma machine. Alright. Warehouse. We get some swimsuits. No, that's not how it works. What do you mean? Is it just 100% for one coin? If I'd only realized it at the time. Someone said that last time. Can I go back and check? Oh, the terror store works now? That's good. I'm happy that that works now.
Uh, thank you, Imp Dude 2, for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Imp Dude 2. Thanks so much. Uh, should probably add some new emotes. I have um, at least one uh, to add. I haven't gotten that many suggestions. I reconsidered the Sony Star one. I didn't, I didn't think that would work out all that well. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for emotes, let me know. A Leon emote. I think we want. I think most people want the Leon meme to die. Can we try this again? Maybe I'll try one more time. I feel like I can. I can do it this time. jump and save everybody yeah. don't worry yeah. Why did it why did it snap over like that for? What what's the rule there? Gonta do his best. Oh, we're back here. Damn. That counted as one slaughter free time. <laughs> Should we go get a love key? I kind of want to go get a love key. I feel like we should get a love key just to see what it does, to see if it's worth getting a lot of them. Monokuma thing in this room now, or no? Yeah, there is. I'm not seeing it. Save scum love keys? What do you mean? So love love key triggers something at the end of the night and you get a random event with, with, with the character. So you can just save before the end and get someone that you want, or you can you can you can see all the different ones. Maybe 
can do We can do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to. I want to go and see the Monokuma coin thing, because I, I can. I can turn this into a, a um, unlimited amount of coins from this as as much as I want. I want to go back to the Mon Monokuma machine. Uh, thank you, Logan Bart, for the new sub prime. Welcome, part time, Logan Bart. Dankeschön. Thank you so much. Thanks for the troll chat. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think that was funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> Usually, I like it when you guys troll me, and it's funny. But this this one isn't funny. Why? What? <laughs> this is just dumb. <laughs> Troll chat chat said that uh, that not all chat obviously not all chat chat said that if you put more than one coin in um, you can get some it's only 100% for the uh, for one coin yeah As punishment for, for 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 trolling me like that with with with, with an, such an unfunny troll, I'm going to break apart every single desk and chair. In both of these rooms. else think it would have been better if he took the hat off in this scene when he's listening to the music and he and he and he imagines uh and he imagines um katie was at the piano of course he wasn't actually imagining katie at the piano katie is is not dead and came back and they had a secret conversation about how they're going to overcome the mastermind and that was just the spooky representation of of, of you know oh they're talking from beyond the grave but actually no Yeah, he should have took the hat off in that scene, I think. I think it would have been better. I thought this story would have come back here last because we're gonna we're gonna hang out with uh with her because she's my favorite right now. Good job you've turned into a crypt a crypt stream, what do you mean? 
Have I made it? I'm a crypt stream now. The amount of salt is literally ruining the game for me nearly as much as the first shelter team. Wait, what do you mean salt? How is it salt? How is it salt? Oh, nice. Oh, can we get a Mackie's room? Is, is Mackie still guarding the door? It's more like pepper, exactly. Rumbled. All right, there's no way she's gonna be there forever, right? No, she sees us. Um. All right, so I guess we're going back to the casino. Let's just teleport. I don't think there's anything that we we want to get around here. I feel like there should be a, a, a Monokuma thing in this area, but I don't see it. Is there one swimming in the water, maybe? On a little boat? No. Are they even important? Okay, uh, is there any other reason to save the, 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 the metals? Or should I just exchange them all? I guess I could just go farm more, right? So I guess it doesn't matter. Are they used for anything else apart from this now? Asking chat, I, I could get trolled again. All right, so we want key of love, which is ten thousand. Um, so and that's it. There's nothing else. Dengan and werewolf. Some of these might turn into them. So I think we want to get, I don't know, eleven thousand just to be safe. So we have a thousand buffer to, to, to gamble forever. I think maybe maybe ten thousand five hundred, maybe. Okay. Eleven thousand zero three seven. All right, let's get that. That sounds like a good plan. I like that plan. Let's do that. So there should be a monokuma around here. A little hidden monokuma. Let's go on the red one. This machine troll is the equivalent of that moment at the beginning of Portal 2. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that moment a lot. That's a really good good moment. I don't want to read out because in case someone else hasn't played, uh, in case someone hasn't played Portal 2, that's a cool part. Can I just hold it down? Nope. Black Machine has highest win rate. What? Wait, 
This one, the one we were on before. Think about Nagito chat and well, one more channel your Nagitos. Pickle Nagito Yuma? Okay. That sounds like a good one. and say, hey Fink, keep pressing this button. <laughs> button time, button time. Yay, you're so good at pushing the button. Good job. Button time, button time. I've never gambled before. I wonder if it would be, uh, if, I w if, I, if it would get me. I wonder if I would be addicted. Not gambling if it's not real money. That's why I mean I've never I've never gambled before. Why is the game ruined? Because it lies to you. So you can't enjoy the murder mysteries anymore. If you don't care about the murder mysteries, uh, or you you just like being along for the ride, then the game isn't ruined for you, but it's ruined for me.
What did it lie about? Um, you can go and watch the beginning of the VOD uh, if you want to know. I don't want to get into it again. I think we've already discussed it too much. Sorry to, to, to say that, but yeah, I think some people on chat are a bit tired of it. Would it help if you just thought uh, Katie is a liar? Nope. No, wouldn't help. Wonderful. Yeah, it's almost break time. Um, it, sorry, it's past break time. Uh, we're not gonna get there, are we? All right, let's just do it now. Okay. You know what I should get? I should get one of those. I should get one of those birds that, you know, one of those birds that dips into the water and then goes back out of the water. I should get one of them and have it here for times like this, and I can just hit, hit, make it hit the Y button over and over and over again while we're gone. I should get one of those birds. Oh, that would be good. All right. Um, here, here, here are some tasty ads. I'll see you in about um five minutes. 22 minutes since your last ad? No. What? Is this is this busted? What? Yeah, it's busted. Okay.
bum 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 Damn bros Joe literally really is literally too dumb for dang around but am I oh shit what am I what am I dumb about what am I being dumb about Coins. We're gonna make progress in plot two, not gonna lie, the gambling's getting tired. Yeah, we're trying to get ten thousand so we have a key of love thing for the for the nighttime event that happens. Uh, when we go to sleep tonight, and we'll do some free time events. Uh, I don't think we're going to stream tomorrow. Um, so next stream will probably be on Tuesday. And then on Tuesday, we will do a long stream. So on Tuesday, we'll do the, the murder, the investigation, and the trial, I think. I, th I think we'll try and do that on Tuesday. Uh, might start a little early on Tuesday. Might start around um, uh, noon Eastern instead of 1. Start early and see if we can go for a longer stream. Anyway, let's get some banner on the screen. The Virgin Streamer 2018 versus the Legendary Dragon 2017. Here we go, it's it's version two. Only plays weeb games, tries to convince his audience that he is human despite the fact he he's a dragon. Has two sons, explains the oldest son for his streams. Lost a waifu, spent 12 hours complaining on Discord. <laughs> Takes breaks so he can run scumbag ads. Never had sex, his kids are made in a bio lab. Has no funny material, baits chat into spamming their three memes over and over. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have two memes, not three. Manipulates Patreon sub poll vote so he can play weeb games on stream. Complains about story and games, hoping that uh, somebody in chat mentions that he is a writer and they will buy his books. Claims that horror games don't scare him, refuses to play horror games with face cam. And then that's compared to the Legendary Dragon 2017. Played Cuphead on stream despite struggling with the tutorial level. Doesn't hide the fact that he is a dragon. Admits that he is a that admits that is a normie. Compares every game to Dark Souls. Doesn't want to reveal the, the name of his kids. Removed a tweet after it contained a name by accident. Um. No, I don't think we did that. Maybe we did. Did we do that? Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't an accident. But yeah, we we did we did we did tweet the name. Yeah, we and we and we removed it. Uh, wants to know Jap. No, did we? Did we remove it? I can't remember. No, wants to know Japanese for work instead of for weeb shit. Doesn't get mad despite the fact that chat asks, "What is your favorite band?" One hundred times per stream. Yeah, that did happen. Was ironically cringy. I don't think I'm ever gonna run ads. Actually, succeeds when he says first try. Didn't even mention his Twitch account. Only dedicated fans were allowed to watch the streams. That's true though. That's that's still true. If you're not a de dedicated fan, why are you here? Why are you here? 
Make America Great Again with uh, Pickle Rick, Bane, Foxhound. Let's see if we get the whole thing on the screen. Damn. I wouldn't expect anything less from, from, from the ultimate child care giver. No politics? What, because of the pickle, Rick? Come on. Pickle Nagito is not going away, is he? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Do, 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 do. When you have a man's nut, but then you realize it's November. Is it? What do you mean? Is it? Is it? Is a no no fap November or something? I thought it was no shave November, but it's also no fap November. No shaving, no fapping. Damn. Oh no. Oh no. It's a great expression that he has. No nut November. Oh god. So you're allowed to fap, you're just not allowed to nut. Okay. Good luck. Oh boy! The wagging dragon tail so excited. <laughs> Can't wait to solve this mystery alongside my trustworthy protagonist. Oh boy. He doesn't know. <laughs> Uh, and it's and it's the the evil t t Tenko face too. He doesn't know. Oh boy. Who's Yarsa? This is Merrick. Merrick and Z's in chat. Thank you, Merrick. Uh, and I think that's all the ones I saw. Let me see. Yep, that's it. Okay. Okay. Apparently there are a bunch I didn't see. Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and we'll, and we'll look at the, we'll look at them either at the beginning of the stream tomorrow or in the stream today. I can't I can't I can't keep look, looking at put, putting putting images on the screen. Sorry. Let's get back to it. We have important things to do. We have important gambling things to do. Do, 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 do. Very important that we do this. Wish I could show on at the same time that I'm doing this. But I don't think so. Whenever we continue the game, when we get um, uh, fifteen hundred more more coins, it shouldn't take too long. I want to say it's going to take no more than fifteen minutes, but I might be wrong. Like th this is part of the game. Sorry, I know I know it's not interesting, but it's part of the game. 
Why 1500? Because we need 10,000 for the um, for, for the for the love key, and I want to have a buffer so we don't run out of coins when we come back and gamble again. If we want another one for or other items, maybe that's too safe, but it shouldn't shouldn't be too bad. Oh, it's more than 1500. I'm sorry. We need 10,000 for the um for 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 the, for the for the key of love, and then we need a little bit of a buffer after that. Where is the pickle uh, Nagito mean coming from? I don't know. I don't know if it's something I said on stream one time, or or um, if, if people have just made the connection between Rick and Nagito at some point. I don't know. I don't know the origins. Coins, yay. That number ain't going up, huh? slot machine and back for faster cash change machines at some time at some point okay I don't believe you guys but let's just do it I mean this uh, someone told me the black one's the best one and this is the black one so let's try the, the, the blue purple one are you gonna save scum for all characters or, or just a few times. I don't think we're gonna go for all characters, but we'll do it a couple times maybe. Oh, and so uh, end at least uh, 35 minutes. We'll probably go a little over today because uh, break started uh, break started late. Uh, ideally, I'd like to get through all the free time, but uh, maybe that's not plausible. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on if there's a story moment between the two slots of free time. Uh, Neck of the Cat says, I don't have any jokes for this, but donation. Just want to say that I'm loving the streams and look forward to stopping by more frequently. Now gamble away those life savings at Mono Coins like there's no tomorrow. Thank you, Neck of the Cat. Thank you so much. I literally took some time to get ready, walk to the bus stop, and then waited a few more minutes before deciding to go check on what you're doing, and you are still gambling. Yep. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Babsia Tadika. Babs, I can't say your name. Probably, I'm sorry. I'm properly, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you though. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to Dragon's Den. Welcome to the Rubber Dub Sub Club. Have have some cringe in 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 uh in apology for not pronouncing your name right. Welcome to the Cringe Cafe. Haven't said that in a while. Any more Red Dead and coming, Joseph? Not on stream, no. Nope. I won't stream Red Dead again. Uh, well, like maybe it's like, way in the future at some point I might stream Red Dead, but not anytime soon, no. Uh, streams are going to be coming uh, irregular after V3 is done, I think. 
uh, or at least at the, at, at the latest at the end of the month. Uh, my hope is to get V3 done in time for Fallout 76 in order to do a stream of Fallout 76, and then we might do the David Cage games, or we might not, but after whether we do or not after that, we will be a regular stream time. And I don't know how long it's going to be a regular for. It's going to depend on a couple things. Um, the three main factors are that Lily's pregnant, and the pregnancy is 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 a lot tougher than the last two for for whatever reason. Um, the second one is that it's getting really cold in the basement as it gets colder here in in Moncton. And uh, the third is that streaming just takes so much out of me, so much out of me. In more ways than one that I probably don't have time to go into right now because we're too busy gambling. But the biggest one, not not to throw Lily under the bus, but the you know the biggest one is because because Lily's uh, pregnancies is, is is a bit rough, which you know I'm, I'm not really throwing under the bus because it's not her fault. Are you enjoying the game so far, or did the twist completely kill the game for you? Uh, it completely killed why I played these games, but I'm still enjoying, the, you know, the style, the characters. Um, you know, there's, there's more to enjoy than just the mysteries, but that was the biggest reason why I, I like the game. So, uh, that part's dead. Yep. But I'm not hating it. I'm not sitting here having a fucking awful time the whole stream or anything like that. Don't think that. It's just... Uh, you know, by now I'd be like, oh fuck yeah, let's let's maybe while we're gambling and we're fucking around a little bit more because by now I'd be like, fuck yeah, what's the next mystery gonna be? I'm so interested, and now I'm like, yeah, I don't care. You plan on stream or play Night in the Woods? It might be up your alley. Uh, I don't know if I'll stream it. I'd like to play it eventually because people people uh, suggest it a lot. Well, I couldn't roll my eyes any harder. What? Because I have a different opinion than you? I don't understand. Each machine has different rollers. This one, so for, this one doesn't have a seven in the middle, but have more wall icons instead. Oh, is it? That's interesting. Coins, 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 coins. Joe, if this game stresses you out, you might want to skip the Ace of Train games. Ooh, the game doesn't stress me out. Is there any way this game can redeem itself? Um, the only way it could redeem itself is, is if, um, you know, a developer message came on the screen and said, hey, uh, you know, we, we, we just did this one-off thing where we made the game lie to you just because we thought it'd be an interesting story and we promised we won't do it again. Like, it would have to break the fourth wall and that's not going to happen. Who's my favorite character so far? I'm not sure. Um, I like the tennis guy. I like Daredevil. I like uh, I like evil guy, uh, Pikachu. Uh, astronaut guy is growing on me a little bit. Um, I like I like the maid, but not not all that much. Um, I don't think any of the girls are really that interesting. Are they? I don't know. Tenko is getting way more screen time than I thought. would get 
The UI in this game is awesome. I think the mass panic debate works great with its overwhelming system. Yeah, I, I think the presentation is, is, is special. Yeah. Mew's okay. How would you write a you are the culprit case in this game then? Um, I wouldn't. Uh, not as a murder mystery. I would probably write it that you're in on it and you have maybe some slight choices when you when it comes to committing the murder because you can't you can't have full freedom because that would just be too much work it might even be impossible so i would write it that you have some light choices that you're involved in the murder you get to plan it out and then you you execute it and maybe you get it wrong i don't know i don't know how that would work um but or you could get it wrong rather and then if you succeed uh then you have to go through the trial and and and, and you know uh plant misdirection and lies to, to, to throw suspicion off yourself and I think that it would be a good idea if you know partway through you could decide whether or not you, you feel bad that you that you did it and everyone else is going to die you could reconsider even though you went through with it um, or you could continue going through with it and then and then graduate uh, the reason why I think that they could have done it in, in the first trial is that they could have used the first blood perk and even if she did get away with it she could she could have left right so I think you you could. I don't think the player is gonna want to to kill someone and then everyone else dies and then the game would just fucking end, right? So they could have done that in the first trial, and you could have uh, whether you get away with it or get caught, right? The function is still the same. Katie leaves. Whether she graduates or she's executed, Katie leaves, um, and then you switch over to sushi. How do I play playing Zero Escape games? Yes, but um, I don't know if I want to play them on stream. Uh, chat gets quite obnoxious whenever there's a puzzle that I don't instantly solve, and I do mean instantly. Um, there was a piano puzzle in Silent Hill 1 that I think I got quite quickly, and people will, people in here and in Discord were already starting to get uppity about it. Like, there's just something about puzzles in chat that just, like, like so... I know, that wouldn't be a good stream experience for me. I'm sure it'd be a great stream for you guys. Uh, especially people who, who don't get like that in chat, but I don't know if I want to do it. I haven't fully decided yet. Still looking forward to the Ace Attorney trilogy after Danganronpa. Uh, a little less. I don't know. I don't know if Ace Attorney would, would, would be good or not. Uh, I'm interested in the concept. I'll give it a chance. Hopefully it's more grounded than Danganronpa. Whenever I say something like that, usually chat lights up with it really isn't or it, it really is. Like the chat, chat seems to be pretty split on how Ace Attorney, Ace Attorney, Ace Attorney handles uh, its cases. Joe, if you're going to stream a lot, you just need to learn to ignore chat. They can be pretty toxic. I like interacting with chat for the most part, and I like reading chat. That's part of the enjoyment for me. If I was going to just stream all the time and ignore chat, I would probably just quit streaming. I don't like streaming with chat down. It makes me feel a little crazy. It makes me feel like I'm sitting in a room talking to myself while I'm playing games. Uh, thank you, Toxic Gad, for the new Silver Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Toxic Gad. Thanks so much. And thank you, Mania Max, for the 100 bits. I want to bully me. I want Tenko to bully me. Ooh. It's getting interesting. Let's switch over to the other machine. It seemed like when we switched to this machine, it was better. Maybe. I don't know if that's, if that's real or not, but who knows. We're almost there, though. I think I was off a little bit with my 15 minute uh, estimation. They might be closer to 20. 
I could just turn chat off while I'm doing the, the puzzle parts. Yeah, but I did that with Silent Hill 2, and like I still knew it was happening. Like you can still feel it. People judge you in public, it happens. There's a difference between being in public and and people, you know, aware of what you're doing than streaming. Streaming is more like being on a stage. It's not really the same, but it's closer to being on a stage and just being in public. Are you planning on doing the new Switch versions of the Ace Attorney games? I say that because as an admittedly very nostalgic fanboy, I have a lot of problems with the art and UI of those versions. I think we're going to use the PC versions when they come out. Will I be playing Deltarune? Uh, almost certainly at some point. I don't know if I'm going to stream it though. I might wait for the whole thing to be out before I play Delta Rune. I don't I don't like things being unfinished. I don't know if it is if it is its own full experience or not. Or if it's just a demo or if it's just episode one or something. I don't know. Ooh, have you heard about Return of the Oberdin? It's super unique and I, at least I think the awesome stream game. Yeah, I played it a little bit. Not very much though, just a little. And it seemed uh, Casino Royale, which is, uh, that was the achievement that just popped up. And I thought it was interesting. Um, again, I don't know if I want to play on stream. I don't know what kind of game it is, because I only just, I played it for literally 10 minutes just to walk around and see what the art style was like, because someone on Discord was saying it was giving them headaches. And I just want to see how it felt to, to walk around. Um, I don't know what kind of game it is, because I feel like it might be a puzzle game again, and I, and I really don't want to play a puzzle game on stream right now. All right, let's get a little bit more, maybe like another 100 or so, or another big win, like a 200 win, and then we'll go. Should we try and get 11,037 chat for the meme? Should the meme be alive? the numbers and she on the right have average payout 37 we'll up only have 20 damn people care about this game damn will you plan on playing this training yep 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 uh it won a vote yep it won a vote along with a bunch of other games we will eventually be playing Ace Attorney, Vampire the Masquerade, Yuzuka Zero, um, Portal 1 and 2, uh, Catherine. There was one more, right? Can't remember what the other one is. I play Portal. Yeah, I play Portal 1 too. <clears throat> it's just that uh, people who voted wanted me to play it again for some reason. I don't know why. Does Chapter 3 1 ruin the past Dying Room games for you? No, it doesn't. No. The anime does. Uh, I, I, I consider the an anime not canon for that reason. 
uh, the anime ruins Danganronpa 1 and 2. Um, but 3 1 does not ruin Danganronpa 1 and 2, no. No, it doesn't. The game is ruined because it lies to you. And if it lies to you, there can be no mystery. And I play the games for the murder mysteries. It's ruined for me. It's not ruined for everybody. It's ruined for me. What are your feelings on rhythm games like Crypto and Necrodancer? I haven't played it, so I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try five more times, and if I don't get another jackpot thing, we're just going to leave. To, to screw, screw the 11037 dream. We're not going to get it, man. We're not going to get it. Oh, we got... Okay, we, we, we better use the lucky ones. All right, here we go. Joe will play Catherine. Yeah, when full body comes out, we'll play Catherine. I don't know when it's coming out, though. It's coming out sometime in 2019, right? So, I don't know. If, 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 the, if the new baby is, is, is born right around the time that Catherine comes out, then obviously we won't. But uh, the, the intention is to play it at release. Hopefully it's, it's, it's announced ahead of time. All right, yeah, we're not getting anything. All right, let's go get the key to love. February 14th, yeah, it's in Japan, right? When's the Western release coming out? All right, we got it, we got it. Oh, we need a bunch of skills too, damn, okay. I should, I, just, I should just spend five hours in here. I'm just hitting Y. Save. Uh, it happens at the end of the day, right? I'll save it right now just in case, but it's it's at the end of the day, isn't it? Uh, I want to hang out with the maid. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Pikachu as well. He's all right. Damn, six foot. Six two. Damn. Not men. Let's. All right. Um, Miu's okay. Maybe we'll hang out with Miu. So hang out with the maid. Oh, we should just teleport it. Doesn't matter though, really. We're almost there. plan to do next should I hang out with Kirumi yeah let's do it no no there's no point thinking about it anyway I found a vacuum cleaner so I've decided to use it at once damn I spent some time gawking at Kirumi's beautiful cleaning techniques whoa wrong button Kirumi and I grew a little closer today we just think Kirumi present yeah for sure uh, what are we giving her? We're giving her the key of love. No, uh, isn't there like a spray ball or something or a broom? A little bent can be used for cleaning. Um, tissues. I thought the spray bottle was like down here. Did did it change when a bunch of these question marks things were added? That's a lot of shit, isn't it? Why are so many question marks? She would like the, I think she would like the mirror, but maybe not. Give her ketchup. Oh no, it's here. 
Uh, cleaning air freshener or sparkly sheet. Let's give her that. I will do my best. Will it be duties where I must use this? Then I will accept it by all means. I will grant Am I mistaken? Wishes. In that case, I will use this to aid you. Shall we begin, shall we begin then? How can I help Suchi, you? how can I help you? Oh, she wants food, doesn't she? She wants food, ketchups. Huh? Well, it worked. We still got through it. It's fine. It's fine. We got through it. I will grant your wishes. Give me any command. I will do anything for hmm. you. I don't really have anything to ask of you at the moment. How? Why did you talk to me then? That's... Well, I was thinking that we could spend some time together. Is that all right? I do not agree. No, not at all. If that is what you wish for, then I will wait by your side forever. So please do not hesitate and request anything. Uh, um, uh, it's not that I want you to wait on me. I just wanted to be with you for a while. Is. That is a rather vague request. What do you wish for me to do? No. I already told you I don't wish for you to do anything. How? Why did you call for me then? Then. All right. How about this? Let's talk about something. Understood. Would you like me to serve you by keeping you company? Huh? Serve? Do you agree? Is that not what you wished for? So is she a little a little bonkers or no? That isn't quite it. What should I say? Kurumi is a maid. Perhaps that's why she's so insistent about this. But this right, I'm gonna suffocate. Kurumi's being too serious. Hey, hey Kurumi. Didn't you chat with your classmates during lunch breaks or after school? Yes. I had somewhat. Why do you ask? Remember. Well, because I want to spend time with you in that way. Um. For example, perhaps we could drink some tea in the dining that hall. That is fine. Yes, that is fine. Let us go to the dining hall. Good. She seems to understand. What do you think? Sushi. What would you like to drink? Tea or coffee? That's true. Ah, uh, tea, I suppose. Understood. Understood. I will go and prepare it. Please wait. Jesus, shit. You son of a bitch. Ah, oh. uh, wait. Kurumi. Ah, uh, too late. She's already in the kitchen. I didn't mean to make her prepare tea all by herself. Because my, my plan was to poison the tea so she would die. And now I can't do that. My apologies for making you wait. It is done. Can we return pushing a cart on that cart was? Ugh. Whoa, what is all this? Yes. It is your afternoon tea. Well, I can see that, but I've never seen something so extravagant. There were delectable sandwiches, cakes, and scones lined up on the cart. The tea smelled so wonderful, it put all the other tea I had ever had to shame. She prepared all this in just minutes. Is this the power of the ultimate maid? Please, go ahead. Sushi, please sit here. Thank you. Ah, yes, thank you. I sat down, but noticed Kurumi standing still with perfect posture as always. Hmm. Kurumi, aren't you going to sit? Mm -hmm. But if I sit as well, then I cannot serve you. No. I don't want you to serve me. Come and sit with me. Please, go I ahead. I prepared this just for you, so please. But... But... May I? Sushi, you, command, you commanded me to prepare you tea. I will do my and best. And I intend to complete any requests given. Please enjoy this tea. Hmm. Oh, okay. Kurumi's report card, you have to... Damn. Can you, can, can you imagine, you know, like, if, if there was, like... Oh, like a cafe you could go to, and there was a bunch of of, of, of pretty maid girls that, that want to want to serve you things. That'd be a great thing. That'd be great to go there. Kareem waited on me hand and foot, and I returned to my room. The tea, the sandwiches, the scones, the cakes—they were all excellent. Why do I like this girl? I, I, I'm right. starting to not like her. I'm hoping there's more to her. It looks like there's still some time left. She's just, I'm a maid, you know? I, I'm hoping there's more to her. I'm a maid. All right, who should we hang out with now? Wait, he he's dead, so he's a waste of time. Um, Miu, maybe? Should we just should we just try try and finish a character? Miu or Kochiki, I guess. I kind of like Miu. Again, I'm hoping there's more to her. Is 
This is the cringe cafe, a made cafe. It is now. All right, where's Mio? Let's let's hang out with Mio. Oh, we ran into you first. Yeah, I li I like this guy, but let's go hang out with Mio. Let's give the girls a chance because because the, the guys are way more interesting. If we get more free time, we'll hang out with Kochiki. That's me, right? Miyu is a dirty whore, and that's exactly why we like her. What's wrong with being a whore? There's nothing wrong with being a whore. All that? men are whores, so it's fine for women to be a two. Huh, what? What do you want? I'm fucking busy. You want me to be your playmate? Do some dog tricks or something? Should I hang out with me? Yep. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? You're actually gonna do it? Oh man, this I gotta see. I actually ended up performing tricks like a dog for me. <laughs> Somehow ended up growing a little closer to Mew. And by growing closer, I mean I planted a bomb in her purse. Would you like to give me a present? Yeah. What should we give her, chat? What should we give her? Tell me what to give her. Yaka Caramel? That's very specific. Where's that? It's at the beginning, isn't it? Okay, that is so specific that I think that person knows what they're talking about. So I'm gonna trust that person in chat. Here we go. We're gonna see. And if not, we're gonna save scum. I'm trusting chat. That person in chat. Damn, nice. Damn, Pooh Ichi, you actually brought me something nice. Oh, it's not poo like shit, it's like pooch because, you know, we, we, we act like an animal for her. All right, I'll show you an invention of mine. I bet you're so thankful you're about to cry. What? Huh? Y you're not interested? Why? Hey, Pooh Ichi! Oh, Pooh Ichi, you ready? Huh? Ready? What was that? Huh? Don't look at me like that. I just. Don't look at me like I just blew a dove with a. Ro blew up a dove with a rocket launcher. I, Miu Iruma. The gorgeous girl genius, I'm gonna devote my time to you. <laughs> and you'll entertain me in return, right? You'll leave me 100% satisfied, huh? right? I, I don't know about that. Huh? huh? Are you saying you invited me without making any plans? You mother- Typical. When men see the heat I'm packing, they get all nervous and stuff. And <laughs> stiff. But since you caught me in a good mood, alright, I'll show you my inventions. Follow me. Without waiting for my answer, Mia strode toward her lab. Ta-da! Here we are, Miyu Aruma's research lab. Bum ba da bum 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 bum. I know that you brought me here. Booyah! Now the first invention I'll show you is this. Uh, um, what is this? A sensor? Listen up! Wow, you actually figured out it's a sensor. But can you guess what kind of sensor? No. It detects boners. It's a boner sensor. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I thought. I call this baby the hookup counter. Huh? Hookup counter. It counts how many people you fucked or how many have fucked you. Okay, that's kind of. I, I was. I was close. Ugh. Don't point that at me. <laughs> Too late. Let's see the results, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. Are you kidding me? What did it say? What did it say? Well then. Now, on to the next invention. Miu held out a machine that looked like an arm with a boxing glove on the fist. Uh, um... What is this? <laughs> Auto puncher that punches you for telling terrible, dirty jokes. Huh? Why is the name so literal? <laughs> Who cares? Sometimes I'm too lazy to think of names. I'm constantly cranking on new inventions. You can't expect me to name them all. <laughs> I mean, virgin. do you name each of your little <laughs> fucking virgin? <laughs> I mean, do you name each of your little dudes after you blast them into a tissue? I do. Bam. <laughs> ah. Mew got punched pretty hard. Is she okay? Mm -hmm. Sheesh. That was sudden. Still, though, that was a good punch. 
I guess she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry to cut your fun short, but I got one more invention to show. Hmm. What is it this time? This looks like a gray gun from a science fiction movie. <laughs> this baby will teleport underwear in a flash. I call it the going commando gun. Huh? What? <laughs> Just point the slide at a pair of underwear and you can send it anywhere you want. What do you think? Cool shit, right? Huh? Huh? You can teleport objects? Out of my way! Not all objects, just underwear. Just underwear. She's wasting this incredible technology on underwear. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Bow before my formidable talent. Hmm. I want to see it work. I don't know what to say. This is all very odd. What? what? Don't, don't look at me like that with those cold eyes. I just wanted to show this stuff to you. Uh-oh, did I upset her? No. No, Um. it's really creative. Really good stuff. Uh -huh. Really? Okay. Yeah, I think it's good that you have so much fun with your inventions. <laughs> you think so? That makes me happy. Yeah, my inventions are... I fucking yeah, My inventions are always awesome, even without without even saying it. But even geniuses like to be praised. You seem to understand that pretty well. <laughs> you know, you're pretty alright. I'll treat you real good from now on. Just make sure my technique doesn't blow your mind too hard. <laughs> oh. You'll treat me good? So you're not gonna test anything on me, right? My brain feeling a bit scrambled, I return to my room. Chat, the game has established the teleporter could only teleport underwear. The, the fact that Monokuma teleported ruined the game for me. Well, if he used the underwear teleporter to teleport, then yeah, that would be pretty bad, wouldn't it? But if he teleports on his with his own powers, it would be fine. Save some, save some. Okay. Oh no, we can't. Oh no, we we can't. We can't save. I'm hitting save. I'm hitting save. This is an official announcement. Official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. For now. Everyone is out now on work duty. Bedtime, Ursine. Bedtime, Ursine. Hmm. Night time already. Today really flew by too. As I lay on my bed, Ryoma's words came back to me. Hmm. Reason to live. When I really think about it, what do I have? I want to see my family and friends again, but is that a reason to live? It's a reason to kill though. But Because I want to see my family and friends again. I wonder how it was for Katie. When she plotted her murder, I'm sure she had plenty of reasons to live. That's the kind of girl she was. But I... Why am I thinking about this? I shouldn't be thinking this stuff. See, he's thinking about murderous thoughts. I know I need to stop thinking that way, but when I'm alone, I can't help it. Damn it! Damn it. With all my willpower, I force myself to sleep. Um... Monotaro, is he sleeping? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's out like a... Out light alike. Okay. Is that on purpose? I think so. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's out light alike. Oh. Yeah, there you go. You mean out like a light. More Who importantly. Cares? Just hurry up and leave the present so we can get out of here. Hmm. Don't rush me. Jeez, it's dark in here. I can't tell which is which. Do 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 do. Monokuma Theater College entrance exams are a big milestone on par with finding a job or getting married. Are you ex are you examinees out there working hard? One studying focus is the most important. Boost your focus by throwing away all those comic books and video games. Oh, but Spike Chunsoft's games are fine. They're specially made to improve your focus and burn those pictures of your girlfriend. You don't have time to indulge in good memories, but make sure you don't burn your actual girlfriend because you'll go to prison for that. Prison might help you focus, but then you wouldn't be able to go to your exams. If you can't focus at all, it's also good to confine yourself somewhere and study. I recommend confining yourself to in an enemy space. The thrill of studying in a place where you might get caught just wonders for your focus. Oh, and I also recommend studying in a disaster zone. 
the, the background's pretty cool. The thrill of studying in a place where you can actually die does wonders for your focus. Oh, and I also recommend studying in the middle of your exams. The thrill of knowing it's too late to get any studying done does wonders for your focus. With my advice, you'll be you'll beat the competition. So get out there and do your best. Oh, hero shouldn't be asleep on the job. It's pathetic. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Oh. Oh shit! It's Monokuma! We get a date with Monokuma! Do do. Good morning! Although it's technically still night, do you feel well rested anyway? Huh? Monokuma. Yeah. Nice face, Sushi. You definitely look your best in the morning. Too bad. You could look better, though. I'm pretty picky about people's morning faces. Hmm. What are you doing here? Sure. How rude. My time is very valuable, you know. Save? Save here? I can't. Since you fell asleep still clutching the love key, <gasps> I went out of my way to come wake you. I really wish you were more appreciative. Uh, um... Love key? You mean this thing I won at the casino? Yeah, yeah! Yep, yep, I'll tell you how to use it. Huh? How to use it? <laughs> hoo hoo hoo! That key opens the way to a very special place. A place you might have seen in the vicinity of the casino. Hint, hint. Oh right, that building. I suppose it, it would have this kind of key. Hmm? Hoo hoo hoo! You look like you figured it out. Good. Really? A healthy teenager's brain is supposed to be obsessed with sex and lust. That key you got there should help you clear out some of those carnal desires. Huh? huh? Oh, are you starting to get worked up? Are you ready to let it all hang out? Now then, please read the instructions. It's time for the talk. The love key talk. This is a key that is used to unlock the love suite. When night falls, you and one other person will be invited to the love suite. There, you will be part of that person's fantasy. They will see you as their ideal and basically just swoon all over. Oh no. <laughs> Don't be Himoko, please. Wow. You, you, Sushi. You, right now. I never liked you, but right now you look like a big bottle of mana potion. I'm gonna drink you all up. Here we go. You'll make me a real mage after this, Sushi. I can't wait. Think of it as a kind of dream that lets you escape this cruel dark reality. That's why it's so important to play the role the pers that person wants you to. If you do something that breaks character, the other person will wake up in anguish. And what happens there stays there. Memories that are wiped when you exit. It's like a one night stand within a dream. Probably best that you both forget it. Well then, that's it. Stay safe. Enjoy. <laughs> this face is like, what? Hmm? Oh, you seem skeptical. Why don't you try it out for yourself then? Go ahead. Take that love key out for a spin. <laughs> now then, let love take it. hold of you. It'll make you sweeter than a bear's honey pot. I watched Monokuma bounce away, stunned. The key felt heavy in my hand. Hmm. Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Would you like to use the love key? Okay, it's not letting me save. Yes. Okay. Could have been worse. Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. Mackie's ideal fantasy. I wonder what that could be like. Hey. Hey. Huh? Uh, hey. Jeez. I still don't know anything, even after we've been together for over ten years. Hmm. Ten years? What's wrong? Right before you entered elementary school, you came to the orphanage, remember? Uh, um... Uh, yes, I remember. I see. Mackie and I are friends from the orphanage. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? Is it something I said? No. Uh, no, it's nothing. <sighs> Sigh. I don't know why you're making that face. I don't get you. But... Do you think that... Do you think that you should? Did I say something? Maki is blushing. What happened? Because... 
I, I didn't know you thought about things like that. This whole time, I never noticed your bulge. Huh? Things like that. Hey! You, you, you're, you're the worst. You're the, the worst ever. Oh, she's doing the Chiaki pout! That's all I need. I'm so easy. What? Where did this come from? What is it? W what, what are you trying to get me to say? It's all because you said that when we played house. The younger kids are copying us. I said something. What was it? You. You're usually so unreliable, but then you had to say that all of a sudden. What a pain. You said you didn't want to play house anymore, but instead start a real family. When did you start thinking about that? I never even noticed it before. Your ball. Uh -huh. I said what? What are you trying that to That means you and I. <sighs> well, you must have said that seriously, knowing the type of guy you are. You don't lie, and you would never do anything to make someone sad. I already know that. I wasn't with you for this long just for your looks. Okay, so are, are, are we? Do we look like a, a a an important person from her past life, or is she imagining someone that she grew up with like this way? That's why I. Mackie stopped pouring her heart out and looked down. Hmm. Mackie, what's wrong? Hey. Give me your hand. Huh? My hand? Like this? Mackie squeezed her hands around mine as if trying to uh, envelop it. Uh, um, uh, um, this is... This is definitely, definitely strange. Definitely strange. When I think about you, when I what? hold your hand, when I touch you, I'm happy, but I'm scared. I'm satisfied with so little, but at the same time... I want more. It's it's a it's a fantasy, yeah. But I mean, what what's the fantasy? Is is the fantasy that she's remembering someone someone from her past, and she that her her fantasy is that she wants to be back with them, or is the fantasy a complete fabrication? I don't I'm understand. Wondering. This is the first time I've ever felt this way. I felt Mackie's hands tighten around mine. Hey, Shuichi. <gasps> Oh, she knows it's us? There's still a lot I don't understand, but I'm certain about some things. Okay, that's... so, yeah, alright. I don't want to let you go. I'll stay by your side forever, close enough to hold your hand. I want to... cuddle. Just the two of us. Oh, we're cuddling. If this is what families do, then I want to do that. God damn. That's what it means to love, right? Maki... After you said you wanted to start a family, I thought about it. You're my friend from the orphanage. You've always been there for me. That's normal, but not at the same time. You think about me. I think about you too. We've st we stayed together after all this time. I mean, so may maybe they are friends from the orphanage, and and Suishi just just hasn't brought it up until now, and they're both pretending that they that not to know each other, like in Danganronpa too, between those characters. Yep, that's probably it. This is probably just a miracle, but miracles turn to false hope eventually. Maki stared into my eyes. Her gaze was so serious, so resolute. I felt it in my bones. I don't want to lose anything. I don't you lose anything. Or this feeling. That's why I want you to promise me. Not just a marriage proposal. Not just a marriage proposal. But something that lets me feel more. Maki had made a decision. I need to make mine. I took a breath to prepare my heart and nodded with a smile. Um. And. I, I, I mean, that's rape, isn't it? <laughs> um. Right? I guess it depends on what just happened. <laughs> Rise and shine or sign. Rise and shine or sign. Okay, did, did these events have any bearing on what happens later on in the game? Or are they just one-offs, they don't matter at all? They're one-offs? Okay. 
Well, I like I like this one that we just got, so I'm actually okay with that one. So if, when, when we when we load and continue, maybe we'll go with that one. So let's put that down at the bottom. So that's the one that we want to continue with when we're done experimenting with this. All right, I don't think we're gonna do them all, but let's see what happens. If they're still entertaining. What was the present? Was the present the love key or is that something separate? can't save here. I tried last time. It won't let me save. I was trying the whole time. It won't, it won't let me save during this conversation with Monokuma. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal like some shared fantasy. But Tenko hates men. What am I getting myself into? Hmm. Hmm? Whoa, what's going on? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Listen up. Brother Suishi, please explain. Huh? Brother Suishi? What's wrong? Hmm. Why do you look so surprised? Ah, uh, well, I'm not your brother, so... No. Yes, you are. As comrades of the Neo Akito art, our bond is thicker than blood. You are my senior disciple. I take much pride in fighting alongside you. You're different from the degenerate maggots around here. You're amazing. Ah, so that's what this fantasy is about. At least, well, at least I'm not going to get get thrown. Anyway, brother, what's going on? I don't know what you mean. I already told you, you can do anything you want to me today. What? <laughs> Did you hear me? I said you can do anything you want to me today. Uh, I'm sorry, I, is this something we agreed to? Yep. Me. When you won the sparring, sparring match, we agreed you could do anything you want to me. We fought under those conditions, right? <gasps> and if I won, I could do anything I wanted to you. But there was no chance of me winning. Your immense strength can match even Masters. I won against Tenko, only in a dream, I suppose. Tenko would never lose to a man unless... Well, in any case, she said that I can do what I want. Inside Tenko's fantasy, we have that kind of relationship. Right here, right now, let's get started on our bet. But why aren't you doing anything to me yet? My body is ready. No. Mom, spaghetti. Ah, oh, well, that may be the case, but I couldn't ask you That's to. Amazing. Oh, so wonderful. I knew you'd say that, Brother Suchi. You're nothing like those degenerate males who only fantasize about sex. Listen up. To think you view me as your precious little sister, I am truly honored, yet it's anime. That's not going to help. But a deal is a deal. I took on this challenge with all my soul as the ultimate Aikido master. You must accept the outcome and use your fair rights as the winner. Uh, um, but... Uh no buts be a man and do whatever you want with me she's serious about this she really is a competitive girl but tenko i can't do anything to you and besides if i can do anything that means i can do nothing right <laughs> yeah you are so noble i respect you for that but now i'm angry you are an insensitive degenerate male huh? i'm a what huh. don't you get it i i I'm i really want you to do whatever you, you want to me huh? you do listen up I challenge you because I love you. I made a bet with you just for that reason. Huh? What? I, I knew it. You had no idea. Uh, okay. No, I didn't. Ah, I knew it. Your only love is Neo Akito. Why? I tried so hard to get you to notice me, but you never looked my way. That's why. This was the only thing I could sorry. do. Sorry. Tenko, I I'm sorry. No need to apologize. I will accept this as punishment for my foolishness. But, um... Tenko looked down and huffed out of breath and shut her eyes up at me. Brother Shuichi, Brother Sushi. I, I, I love you. Ah! <laughs> I said it. I can't believe I finally said it. I'm almost positive that you already did. All right, Shuichi. From now on, no more insensitivity from you, okay? Because I, I finally told you. I confessed my deepest desires and feelings to you. That's true. I'm being completely serious. I want to be yours, and yours alone. So, Brother Shuichi, if you ever want to 
You know, you can do anything you want to me. Any time, any place. And I'll be ready. Okay. That, that, that was weird, but they don't do anything. Or it's not implied that they do anything like it was in the Mackie one. Okay, let's do one more and then we'll stop the stream. Showing a different side of the characters. It's not bad. Can the boys be there? Oh no, 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 cross with fingers, no, 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 Okay. Suichi, is your mana attuned properly for the ceremony? Huh? Huh? Uh, what? Oh my! What? Did you skip your preparations again? What a useless thrall. Mm. Nah. Why did I make a useless guy like you in my thrall? Uh, um, your thrall? What? You still don't understand. I explained it when I forged the contract. By thrall, I mean you're my familiar. I granted you a magical beast, human form. In exchange, you serve me, little tiger cub. Huh? So I'm an animal in human form? Oh, You've forgotten already? You were originally a wolf. Huh? What, I'm a wolf? Yeah, you're one of Gonta's brothers. I found you in the woods. You helped them grow up. This is pretty out there, even for a fantasy. It's Himiko's fantasy to be an all-powerful mage. Ew. So, is your mana tuned yet or not? Uh, um. Uh, um, I'm not done yet. What was that? So you did skip your preparations. This calls for a punishment. Huh? Punishment? Okay. Don't move. If you move, I'll use my magic to pull out all your hair. Himiko took a few bold steps toward me, her eyebrows furrowed. What is she doing? Am I about to be a guinea pig for her magic? Yeah. Nah. Boop. Huh? What? I looked down to find Himiko burying her face in my chest. Uh, um... Jesus Christ, how terrifying. What are you doing? Yeah. This is your punishment. Oh my god, it's the worst punishment ever. Wait! She's right. Whoa, hey. Himiko squeezed me tight, rubbing her forehead against my chest. Yeah. No, no, make it stop. Kill it, kill it. She looks like a dog or a cat rubbing against her owner. It's kind of cute. No, wait, now is not the time to be thinking that. Um, this is my punishment? That's right. That's right. I usually spoil you, but sometimes your master needs to be spoiled. Himoko mumbled out, her face still nuzzling me. I didn't. It didn't sound like much of an order, more like a child's pouting. Uh, Hurry up. Uh, okay. okay. Spoil her, maybe pet her head? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was right, she really is like a pet. Yeah. More. This is your punishment, so you need to pet me until I'm satisfied. <laughs> Mm. 
more? As in pet somewhere else? No! As if reading my mind, Himiko whispered, Okay. My back. No. Y your back? I don't know if I should. That's... Why? Humph. Are you going to disobey your master? Ah, yes, that's right. It's just like petting an animal. Nothing wrong with that. Only half convinced, I still allowed my hand to slide lower down, down to her back. Ah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> this is gonna... Su sushi, you know what? I take it back. I think the main character should be allowed to commit a murder. Kill her. Kill her. Let's, let's, let's stop it right now. Kill her right now. Let's just let's do it. Let's do it. Let's kill her right now. I take it. I take everything I said back. Kill her. She really seems to be enjoying it. Does she like being petted? <laughs> Watching him and respond to my petting made me lose track of time completely. <laughs> Without warning, Himiko's body went limp and she curled up against are me. Are you okay? Uh, are you okay? <sighs> I managed to catch her before she fell, but just as I was about to set her down. Uh. Whoa. Himiko's arms sprung up to wrap around my neck, embracing me tight. What happened? <laughs> Himiko. I know what you want, sweetie. <laughs> huh? You do? You're longing for the magical power I hold, aren't you? No. It's... Okay, if you want to do that... No, disappearing trick, please. Please, D anime smoke bomb and leave. D drop the smoke bomb. D do it. And All anime characters have a smoke bomb, right? At least one. Smoke bomb and ditch. I'm just a foolish mage who fell in love with her familiar. Uh, love? I'm ready. If you want me, then I'll become yours. Himiko's breath washed against my ear in a seductive whisper. I felt like I was put under a spell. Again, that's a that one's that one's a bit rapey. That was a bit rapey. No, 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 ding dong, bing bong, no ding bong, bing bong, no, 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 not cannon, not cannon, not cannon, reloading, 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 nope, 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 not continuing with this one. Rising. Nope, not continuing with that one. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, fine. One more. One more as a as a palate cleanser after that bullshit. One more. One more, and then we're done for real. We already did this one. Okay, if we if we get a duplicate again, we're just gonna stop. Ding in rumpa. Uh-oh. 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 
All right, time to learn something about ourselves, chat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Kyo Sanasi. I'm a little scared of him, but I won't deny I'm curious. Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> Suishi, so you've come to me because you finally understand, yes? Huh? Huh? What exactly do I understand? I suppose I have to feel around. Oh. What? What? What do you mean feel around? What? Oh, oh, was all the interest you showed in me merely a lie? Well, whether it is true or false is irrelevant to me. That passion you showed me, I fell victim to its beauty. So as you wish, I will accompany you for but a single night. Do you understand? But as I said before, there will never be a time where I love you. You are right with that, yes? Uh, um... Uh, um, wait a minute. So in Kyo's fantasy, I approach him and he responds to my advances? That's an interesting fantasy, but I don't know if I can do this. Whatever is the matter. Hmm. If you're suddenly apprehensive, you can always run away. No. Ah, uh, no. I'm not planning on running away. Oh. Oh, it is quite all right. I wouldn't blame you. Rather, it is I who would want who would be at fault. After all, I'm only responding to your feelings out of simple curiosity. That's what do you mean? Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> it may seem frightening at first, but I will tell you this, you will enjoy it. Wait. What? What are you planning, Kyo? Do not worry. Don't worry. It's only frightening at first. <laughs> I could never be a voice actor. I, I break too much. Kyo's voice sounded almost sultry as he pulled a bundle of red rope from underneath. <laughs> well, um, what's that for, Kyo? I, I mean, I'm interested, but Nagito wants to know what's about to happen. Huh? What is that for? I, of course, already had a good idea what it was for. I made my way to the exit. Kyo must have been anticipating that. He grabbed my arm with his slender fingers. Uh, Kyo's grip was surprisingly firm, and he guided my body onto the bed as I fell backward. Say, he he he, where are you going? You're in my control. Just surrender. Kyo. Wait, hold on a minute. I didn't know we would go this far. Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, you said that I could run if I wanted, right? I see. Yes. I did indeed say that, but I never said I wouldn't stop you. Huh? What? Ah, yes. In any event, let's revisit the topic of your interest in me. As I said, all aspects of humanity, even the ugliest, are beautiful. You took an interest in me, spent time with me. What sort of beauty will you show me as I toy with you? This is what I wish to know. Um... Kyo, what are you going to do with me? Perhaps if you explain to me, I... <laughs> <laughs> you needn't understand all at once. I will teach you thoroughly. Yeah. Never mind, you don't have to explain. I have to accept the role no matter what it is. But this could be dangerous. How do I get out of this? Make up your mind already. You were the one who wanted me, yes? What? What? Wait, what? Ah, I can feel my worries dissolving, my mind going blank. Well, the way you quiver with confusion is beautiful too. Now, give yourself to me. Your fear, worry, anger, and love. I will reveal all of your beauty. I will open the door to a world of pleasure you have yet to experience. Damn. Damn, how he said pleasure there? Damn. <laughs> I swallowed a ragged breath and relaxed. A cord of deep red rope swinging from his fist, Kyo glided forward and... Yeah, that, that, that one's definitely rape. <laughs> that one's for sure. In fact, I would say that, 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 that that's, that's a, a really weird case of them raping each other because the only reason Kyo is acting that way is because of some spell that we've put over him and we don't want him to do it, so... Yeah, that's that's kind of fucked up. Yeah, that 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 I don't I don't I don't I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. That's not good. All right, that's it. No, no one more. No one. More. We'll do one more until 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 we're done. Now we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. FBI, open up. <clears throat> is all that remains of a once powerful note. 
Oh god. Oh god. All right. So, uh, before we stop, thank you, Goda, for the Tricks Month resub. Just caught up with yesterday's stream. Gonna watch this VOD when, when I can. Well, hopefully you hear this, Goda. Thank you so much for the 13 month resub. Hope you like the VOD. Hope you like the stream. Thank you very much. No one more. No one more. We could do one more forever. No. No one more. We'll do we'll do all the rest of them next time, okay? There's no stream tomorrow. There's, there's no stream tomorrow, but on Tuesday we'll do a stream and we'll do them all. And I guess we're not gonna do the investigation on Tuesday. Alright, so we'll just do regular stream on Tuesday, we'll do them all, we'll get to the we'll get to the trial or whatever, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll do the trial on Wednesday or whatever. Okay, we'll do them all. We'll reload until we see them all. I'll make a list and I'll cross the names off, okay? So we'll do that on Tuesday. That's gonna take a while. Yeah, thank you again. Go to uh, Rick at used 250 bits to say, I thought my game was bugged when I first played. I couldn't interact with Angie at all and when I tried to hang out with her, but I realized I was trying to interact with the garbage can. An honest mistake at least. Wow. Huh, Angie's a weird way to spell Himoko, Ricket. But I guess it's just a cinnamon, right? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Right now, you're on the threshold cinnamon. of an amazing adventure. <laughs> they're, they're, just, they're just the same names. Uh, th thank you, Ricket. Uh, Zephyr Lily, use 100 bits. Uh, hey, Joe, reload. Love sweet for Himoko and get banned. You deserve it. Already happened, Zephyr Lily. It already happened. It already happened. Uh, Lost Megiddo, use. Uh, sorry, recent card for six months. Hey, Joe, thanks for streaming and congrats on the new kid. I was wondering if you would ever want to play the extra games that unlock at the, after the end of each each of each thing in Rampa. Uh, that lets you do all the free time events. They may help flesh out some of the characters. Maybe. I'm not sure if it would make a stream, though. Maybe we'll do some on after V3 and see how it goes. And if it's good, we'll go back and do the other ones, but I don't know. We'll, we'll try it on V3 and see how it goes. It's a good idea. Thank you for the resub, Lost, Lost Megiddo. Ricket, Ricket used another two hundred to see. See you in the slammer, Joe. There you go. You responded. You, you, you saw it. Thank you, Ricket. Thank you for the bits. 500 bits total. Thank you so much. Uh, not Evian has subscribed Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Not Evian. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Me drinking some bits to say Himoko is pretty gross. The mouth really throws me off. She's really gross. She's super gross. FBI open up. Cheer. Here you go, Joe. Have some bits for spending time with Him Himoko. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you, Zephyr Lily. Thank you so much, Zephyr Lily. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is it worth it? Was it was it was it worth 600 bits to hang out with Himoko? I don't know. Thank you, Zephyr Lily. <laughs> She's not gross. Yeah, you're right. She's disgusting. Zell Gamers has, has subscriber Prime. Thank you very much. Welcome to Prime Time, Zell Gamers. Thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Off awful use some bits to say nah. Not Agana has subscriber Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Not Agana. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. You drink you some bits that got worse as it went on. Dear God. Yep, it did. Yep. Thank you again, Not Agana. Uh, Darkling second use under bits, so I missed like literally all of this, but this game got getting any better, aside from the weird petting, lol. Uh, it got so much better at the end there, that's that's all I want out of the game from now on, it's just that. That was not very good. That was not very good. Ralph Cogs used some bits to say, so on that day he woke up past a magical spell to make Joe finally feel, feel fear in a video game. It's true. It's true. I learned so much about horror just now. Red Zeth used 10 bits to say, Joe, when the game ends, can we do the extra mode to date uh, Katie with Suchi? They removed the dumb mini game you need to do to get the dates. You can just get gift cards. So you can just gift gifts and get the events with her. You can also get her with the love team, the date mode. Sure, we can try that. Yeah, we'll check out the extra stuff. Maybe we'll do a stream where it's just extra stuff, sure. Wheeling 1000 used 100 bits to say, remember to load into Mackie's route. So that that's the canon scene. Maybe we'll load into a different one. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe Mew's is better. Than 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 uh, than Mackie's. I don't know. I like seeing a different side of the characters and finding more about them. Um, I don't I don't know if, if their reaction is real though. Is that genuine or is it just are each of them made up for it? I don't know. It's quite telling actually. It shows you more about them. Uh, off off lady for at least try to get the robot. Yeah, we'll we'll get them all next time. We'll get them all. Sounds like you need a shower. Yep. 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 Happy Pi, resubscribe for three months with really enjoy your streams. Have you played Horizon Zero Dawn? I really like the story and it seems. No, I haven't played Horizon Zero Dawn yet, no. I would like to though. I'd like to make a video on it too. It's one of the one of one of many video games that I'd like to make a video on eventually. Yeah. But I haven't played it. Well, I played it for like a couple hours, but that's it. Thank you very much, happy bye. Thank you, thank you. Alright, I'll see you guys later. No stream tomorrow. I'll see you on Tuesday. Right now.
you're done. See you later. Oh, there's a bunch of fan art. Okay, um, sorry. We'll look at fan art at the beginning of the next stream. Um, like, we're so over because we kept doing one more, one more, one more. Sorry, guys. Keep them in a keep them in a pace for me, and I'll and I'll look at them on on Tuesday. See you later. <laughs>